What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the City Life Project YouTube channel for yet another MMA fight companion, this time for Cage Fury Fighting Championship 114. What is up, everybody? Thank you for joining us yet again. I said I'd be back. I said I'd be back. Sorry I missed last Sunday. I'm still <clears throat> a little under the weather, as you can hear me. But I appreciate you all joining here tonight. First bout right off the bat. Literally, the broadcast started four minutes ago. We have our first prelim bout about to begin. So we'll talk about it more if it gets out of the first round. But excited for you all to be here. Live play-by-play, -play, live commentary, live reaction. Of course, live interaction with all you folks here. Golden Juniors against Samuel here. Samuel Golden Jr. in the red tape. Samuel's in the blue. Golden Jr. not wasting anytime applying the pressure again folks we'll highlight the fighters before every fight don't you worry especially on the main card as the prelims here the order in which is on topology sure dog and even on the cage fury fc website it's it's subject to change right and a ton of weight misses on this card that john morgan on the broadcast just said as well if you need a place to watch this stream facebook the cage fury fc facebook account is streaming the prelims as well as ufc fight pass as always like the video drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes oh my goodness oh my goodness peanuts comes right out of the gate swinging with the donation peanuts how are you i cannot believe you're still awake here peanuts Thank you so much, buddy. We'll adjust the comments as best as we can here tonight as well, folks. Samuels on the bottom right here. Tremendous takedown by Golden Jr. Slam takedown here. And in my opinion, the first minute and a half of this fight, Golden Jr. is absolutely dominating. He's applying the pressure, yet he didn't land a clean head kick, but he threw one. It was blocked by Samuels. Golden also applying the pressure with a couple of shots too. Again, peanuts. Thank you so much for the for the super chat or what? You gave the super sticker, didn't you? Super sticker. I'm just gonna check YouTube and see what you even uh, posted there because on my little my little tab here, I can't even see what the sticker was. Hundred off, oh, one hundred baby. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Back up to their feet now. And again, Golden with the with the combos here. Samuel's defending, but hasn't really thrown anything. Again, Peanuts, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate it. We'll get to my predictions too, uh, buddy. I see that uh, Shahrukh, uh, Sha Shahrukh, sorry, buddy. Shahrukh also asked for my uh, predictions, so we'll get into those as the fights go on. Sam was through a head kick and just golden throws him to the ground. Leo, what's going on, buddy? I appreciate you joining. You're an absolute beauty. Uh, you think Hirata will win against uh, Starner, first fight on the main card? We'll take a deep dive into that as well soon here, buddy. Thank you so much for joining. Again, Peanuts, right off the bat with the freaking super chat. Habib, thank you so much for joining as well. Oh, I cannot believe it. It is Hit over. It, it is all over. Oh, my goodness. Samuels. Folks, Golden was dominating this fight. Throughout the entire first round, Samuels are going like this. To the honest. Samuels just knocked him the fuck out. And I know I'm not supposed to swear on this channel anymore, but I, man, oh my goodness, that was insane. I gotta check out the replay here in a second, folks. Oh my goodness, Khabib, yes, UFC 281 is stacked, but you know what else is also stacked? Cage Fury fighting championship here tonight. Can't just take a look at the replay here. Just just a fucking right hook from hell. Wow. Wow. Okay, let's take another look at it, folks. Oh, my. It was just perfect. Put it this way. <laughs> um, oh, sorry. I had, the, I had the wrong fight up on the screen here. Uh, again, it just started right, or, right away, and I uh, didn't adjust it. So we'll get back to whoever's up next again. Bout order is subject to change. We were just watching this one right here, folks. My apologies for that. Wow, dude. Ferraris Golden Juniors, 3-3. Three and three, uh, Fighting out of Finley, Ohio, 31 years old. That's crazy. Corey Samuels was dominating him the, the entire first round. Landed more punches. He landed more takedowns. He literally threw Golden Jr. to the ground. At one point, oh my goodness, dude. Oh my goodness. What a, what a great way to start this card as well. 
Uh, I've finished school on Monday. Been on holiday now for the rest of the week. Oh, well, there you go, buddy. Congratulations. Man, what a comeback victory for Samuels there. Still a little under the weather, folks, so I apologize for uh, the sniffles. And I apologize for not introducing both of these fighters prior to the fight. I, didn't, I thought we'd have a little bit more time. Like, the broadcast started... John Morgan and CM Punk started talking and then the fighters started fighting. So we always do right by the fighters. We always want to preview and talk about them, uh, highlight them before they get out to the octagon, before they start fighting. And of course, live play by play, live commentary, live reaction of interaction with all you folks here tonight. Basically graduated now, officially a professional chef. Well, shout out to you, man. Hey, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. That is amazing, Peanuts. Thank you so much, both for the donation, the super sticker, and for joining us here on your, uh, well, your week off. No beer here tonight for me, folks. I'm going to keep drinking the, the Paulo Costa secret juice. Makes me feel better. Yo, Shane, what's going on, Shane? Right off the bat, Shane, we had a knockout. Right off the bat, we had a, we had someone come back. Oh my goodness. And what a comeback it was. All right. So we have. Bah, 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 bah. Who do we have next here? Cameron Cash. What a name that is. <coughs> Apologies, folks, again. Like I said, I'm still a little bit under the weather. 125ers up here, folks. Let's highlight them. I'll give my prediction, then I want to hear yours. I'm just going to update the ticker quickly here on the screen, and then we'll get right back to the comments, and we'll uh, highlight the fighters and get to my prediction. Again, it's a comment-driven live stream. I encourage all the comments, even if I don't get to them right away, folks, I, I promise I address them all, so keep them coming. And uh, and I appreciate you all here tonight. Live play-by-play, -play, live commentary, live reaction, and most importantly, live interaction with you folks here tonight. All right, we got the ticker. By the way, if anyone's viewing on Twitter, get your ass over to YouTube so you can join our live chat here. I'll have my office, well, my desk and everything set up uh, for the Cage Warriors and UFC streams this weekend as well. Okay, uh, Matt Canones against Cameron Cash. Canones 1-0 professionally, uh, but he has fought, and he's 27 years old, I should say, but he has fought uh, a ton of fights on the amateur. Holy crap, let's see how many fights here. Two, four, six. Was it twelve amateur fights, and he's only lost, and he only lost three of them. Whoa! He had his first ever MMA fight in Cage Fury FC, Cage Fury FC one ten, where he won via unanimous decision. Now facing Cameron Cash. Let's take a little, let's take a look at Cameron Cash here. Cameron Cash also won to know in pro MMA. Uh, trains an American top team. So a great gym there. Uh, he was in FAC 13 where he won by rear naked choke in the first round where he made his professional MMA debut. He has a ton of fights on the amateur scene as well. Let's take a look. Two, four, six, eight. Ten on the amateur scene and he went or he lost three as well. So these guys are actually, this is like a perfect matchup here. This is a perfect matchup here. What are your predictions, folks? Let me know in the live chat. Shane, you saw the knockout? That was crazy. Like and subscribe, everybody. Yes, thank you so much. Shane doing God's yeah, work. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Uh, Samuels is my coach. Uh, I didn't get to see what happened. Who won? Oh, my goodness, dude. Oh, my goodness. Samuels won. Your coach won, but he was getting pieced up. He was getting pieced up throughout the entire first round. He got taken down twice. He got thrown down once. Nothing was really landing. And then he he moves out of the way of one of his opponent's strikes. And a, it, it looked more like a right hook than a straight right. But we'll just say a right punch, a right shot, and beautiful, beautiful uh, knockout of his opponent. So there you go, Dan. Uh, Kinonis to win... Uh, is your prediction number one, Peanuts? Thank you. You're getting your prediction. Shane, what's your prediction? Max. So same as Peanuts. All right. Well, I will go against you. I'm going to go with the American top team boy in Cameron Cash because this guy's also the name, you know, 
Best name of the night thus far. Locking it in. Victoria! What's going on, Victoria? Thank you so much for joining. I appreciate it. Do you need updates for NHL tonight? I would love them. I would love them. If you're willing to give them to me, I would love them. Thank you so much, Victoria. The Minnesota Wild finally got a win last night, which was awesome against the Ducks. They had a horrendous game against the Kings before that. And then my Vancouver Canucks. I mean, Shane, you're lucky you get the Big Macs for $3 on game day, but oh my God, they lost to Montreal and it was pathetic. Uh, shout out to Peanuts again for the, the super sticker. You're, you're an absolute beauty and I, and I appreciate it, buddy. I love Cage Fury FC. The fights just roll on. I love that John Morgan is on the mic here. Uh, that's a good question, Victoria. I will let you know after this fight. This will, or just uh, if it gets past the first round here. All right, folks, round one. Let's get it all. Gets past the, the first round. Oh, and it might not even get past the first round. Illegal knee. Illegal knee. Wow. Max Canonas looked amazing off the dot. Landed a ton of shots on Cameron Cash, but this might be an illegal knee. And Cameron Cash looks compromised here. Of course he's compromised. He's took a ton of shots and then an illegal knee to the head. I might win this one on disqualification alone, boys. I do have to say, Canonas' uh, hair is unbelievable. Oh, thanks, Victoria. I do sound sick still, don't I? I feel a lot better now. I, the worst of it is behind me. Yeah, it's tagged. Canona's tagged Cameron Cash by the yeah, legal knee to the, to the head there. Cash landed outside low kick. And it was a just straight left by Canona's. Uh, Victoria, while we have a little break in action here, I'll look at who's playing tonight uh, and who I'd like updates on. Ooh, Calgary would be great. Cameron Cash. Oh, he looks a little dazed. He wants to keep going. The, the doctor looking at him. Let's say uh, Calgary. I'd love to know what's going on in that game. Uh, ba, ba, ba. And Oilers. Yeah, let's just keep it in Alberta. And if there's any, if there's anything that's crazy that happens in the other games, just let me know. But we'll keep it Canadian. Okay, point being taken away. Calgary 1-0. Nice. I, I root for Calgary these days. Hennepin, at a boy. All right, so Cameron Cash, he elects to stay in this fight. No disqualification, but Canonas is already getting a point deducted in this first round. Again, apologies for my voice, ladies and gentlemen. Still getting over a cold here. All right, we're back Let's in it. Let's get it all! Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. Like, subscribe, and vote in the poll question as well. Canona's just walking forward throwing combinations. Cash looking a little bit more for that kill shot, looking a little bit more, well, less green, we'll say. Trains an American top team, so a great team, but 1-0, and still a lot of experience needed to, uh, to really tighten up that technique. Center of the octagon for both these guys right now. And Kinotas comes in again and tags Cash. And it's not pretty, folks. They're more just like flurry of shots as he's walking forward. Didn't drop Cash with that one, but definitely tagged him with one of his hooks. I don't know if it was a right or left. Kinotas is just really dangerous in that he's unpredictable. And Cash doing a good job of taking Kinotas to the grid. Kinotas almost like gave up position. Cash going for the guillotine, and this is tight. Cash drops his back for a guillotine. It's tight, but Kinotas is punching him. Only Cash lets it go. Wow. Do you want auto updates too? Hey, if you're willing to give them, sure. Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> Vote in the poll question again, folks, if you haven't already. And Kinotas has the back of Cash, was lighting him up on the feet there, kind of just drags him back to the ground. Kinotas on the back of Cash right now. One hook in. Cash sitting back up, trying to get up against the cage, not allowing Kinonis to get his full back to be able to get that hook in. What's up, boy? What's going on, Matthew? Man, a little too, little too late. I was going to go grab a seventh half pizza, but then I realized, shoot, it's stream time. Kinonis still on the back of Cash. Heavy shots on the back of Cash. 
Kino's hammer fish shots to the side of his head. Cash doing a good job of defending himself now, but just taking a beating as Kinona's softening him up. Cash side of the cage still, so Kinona's can't get his other hook in to to secure a body lock if he if he does get one arm around the neck or if he doesn't like to go for the rear naked. Oh, another hard shot by Kinona's. Dude, this guy's an animal. You can shout out to everyone watching here tonight. I appreciate you all. Kanona is now changing up position a little bit as Cash tried to get out of this one. Kanona's just, instead of staying on his back there, just gets in front of him now as side mount, pushing Cash against the, against the cage, landing some elbows. I mean, even with the point deduction, Kanona's, if, if this gets out of the first round with one minute and 38 seconds left, he's going to win it. The ref might just call this, too. Kanona's just beating Cash up. Yep, this is it. The ref's going to call this, folks. The ref is going to call this side control here. Kanona's is just absolutely destroying Cash. And, oh, it likes to take his back and try to go for the rear naked. Honestly, he has his back. He has both hooks, and he could go for the body triangle if he wants to. One minute and 18 seconds left. But, folks, I'm surprised. I'm really surprised they just didn't keep beating on him there. Punch him in the side of the head. I feel like the ref would have ended it if so. You can like the video, folks. Drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. If we get to 50 likes on the video here tonight, we will give away some merchandise to a lucky commenter in the live stream. Yo, what's up, Aaron? Thank you so much for joining my man. I appreciate it. How are you? If I've got to go for the night and they score, I'll let you know through Twitter. If I'm able to come back, I'll tell you here. Isha. Thanks, Victoria. Oh, such a beauty. 34 seconds left, and I don't know if he's going to be able to secure the choke in 32 seconds. But Kanona still has the back of Cash. Cash is trying to roll out of it, but Kanona looks really good. He doesn't even have the body triangles. He's able to secure his back now. Gets into side control, modified half guard. Oh, and now 15 seconds left, and he has arm. Oh, he's got a choke in here. Was this Darce choke? Yeah, Darce choke in here right now. 15 seconds left. Cash had his thumbs up the whole time. End of the first round. I'll be back. Dinner as you say that. <laughs> Sounds good. Dude, good man yourself. Getting over cold, but feeling great. Back to streaming here. And uh, already this this Cage Fury FC has been uh has been fun. And we're only two fights in. The first one, quick knockout, comeback for one of the fighters who's being absolutely dominated, comes back, gets a scores a knockout. And in this one, Cameron Cash went for the guillotine attempt, didn't get it, gave and and pretty much after that it was over. It was rocked early, was illegally need. I mean, we saw a point being taken away, but I don't think it matters. I think Kanona still won that round despite the point being taken away. Let me know what you think, folks. My pick here, Cameron Crash. He survived that first round, which I guess is a good sign, but oof. He was my pick to win this one. Again, another shout out to Peanuts for the super sticker here right off the bat earlier tonight. And everyone, give Peanuts a congratulations, even if it's like a party emoji, congrats emoji. Just graduated culinary school. Yeah, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Round two. Let's get it all. Keep the comments coming, folks. It's a comment driven live stream. You know, you know how we do it here. Oh, there we go. A left hook. Or was that just a straight left drop cash? Kinonis went for a head kick but slipped. Kinonis dropped cash 30 seconds into the second round. Shane, you always ask me that. I have no idea. Not even a ballpark, dude. 13 fights. You do the math. Again, you can't ballpark it because there's finishes. But I would say three to four hours. And now Cash threw an overhand left. That landed on Kanona's. But Kanona's still walking forward. Kanona's still throwing combos. Shane, I would say three to four hours, but I, I really don't know. Sounds good, Victoria. Thank you.
three minutes and 45 seconds in round number two. Flyweights here, folks, but Kenota's got some power. Kenota's seemingly the one who's just been walking forward this entire fight. As I say that, they're both just kind of stationary in the center of the cage now. Oh, and a left again by Kenona's lands. That one doesn't drop cash, but still. Whew. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. We're trying to get to 50 likes on the video, and if we do, we will give away some prizes. If we get to 1,300 subscribers, we'll, th we'll throw another prize in there as well. We'll choose a winner from the live chat. Cash really trying to set up that uppercut. Spinning back fist by Cash, but I think he got caught again. And Canona's with two legal knees, and that's it. Finish it. And it's all over. My pick didn't win, but what, what a great way to start this event. That's why. That's why I'm pumped. Wow, Max Canona's. Wow. His first pro fight goes this distance, and this one he finishes, you know, a seemingly strong guy who trains an American top team. That is awesome. That is awesome. Wow. All right, let's take a look at the finish here. That left hand of his is, like, insane. Okay, so right before the spinning back fist, or during the spinning back fist, the, it was the left hand that tagged Cameron Cash, then uh, two knees, and that's it. Then a Hail Mary of Flurries, and that's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Peanuts is the lucky charm, folks. Peanuts, every time Peanuts is in this chat betting, he's making some money. Or at least, at least, at least if he's not betting, his predictions are coming true. Wow. <clears throat> Pardon me, folks. Like I said, still getting over a cold. Won't be drinking any beer tonight, but I do have Paulo Costa's secret juice. See, it's it's not water, as you can see. It is the secret juice. I told Paulo is a feeling under the weather, weather, and he said, "You, you know, feel under weather, motherfucker." Here's the secret juice. Become Giga Chad. I love how he spells motherfucker on uh, Twitter. It's like M T F K. <laughs> All right, just waiting to hear. Uh, well, we'll get the official announcement of the winner. I don't know why it's taking so long. Uh, in the center of the octagon in a moment here, folks. Then we will hear what the next prelim fight is. As uh, Tapology and the Cage Fury FC site. I mean, a lot of the... Due to, I think, some weight misses. And, I mean... This uh, is one of the smaller promotions. The, the prelims are always subject to change in their bout order. So... Until I refresh the ticker on the bottom of the screen, until I refresh the photo that you guys all see with the stats and whatnot, uh, we'll wait for the official announcement of the winner in the center of the octagon here, and then the official announcement of what the next fight is going to be. Then we'll run down those fighters, we'll talk about their record, we'll talk about their style, we'll talk about their history. I'll give my official prediction, then I want to hear yours. I should have written down our overall record. I know you've won like five and I'm at five or six, but I'll say five and write it down on my phone. Sounds good. I thought you were writing it down. Oh, shoot. So this might be... Now the replay, you see the first knee was legal. That second knee was not. In my initial reaction, I thought that too. So that second knee that might have even like broke the jaw of this guy was uh was was illegal. So he honestly could I mean it's over. He's smiling now, but what if he watch him be disqualified for that if they look at replay? I don't know if replay is a thing in this in cage fairies, if it matters. Cause it's been taking so long. Look at this guy's fucking facial hair too, the the official. Okay, let's see if we even have a winner here. Okay, winner. 
Due to excessive strikes. No, no, no. It was due to a legal knee, motherfucker. Phenomenal performance, as John Morgan says, and you know what? I have to agree, but let's let's be honest. Let's call it. Let's call it how it is here, folks. Cameron Cash got caught with two illegal knees in that fight. All right, who is next here? Uh, Willingham to win next. Well, I don't know what the exact bout order is. Is it Willingham coming out? I'll see it in a sec here. Bum, bum, bum. Shout out to everyone viewing live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. Live play-by-play, -play, live commentary, live reaction, and of course, live interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. Subscribe for more of these picks and predictions as well as a ton of other fun stuff on this channel as well. We stream a minimum of two times a week. And uh, this week we're doing three, maybe even four. I know I originally posted four, but the Shooto Brazil card just looks like absolute poop. And I don't know how many people are going to be watching, so we'll play that one by ear tomorrow. But, I mean, Saturday's huge. Cage Fury, or it's Cage Fury. Uh, Cage Warriors in the morning, and then UFC in the evening. We got Cage Fury right now. We're already two fights into this. I'll throw the next two fighters' profiles up on screen just here in a moment, folks. Just want to say a big thanks to everyone who's been supporting the channel. Okay, look at that. You were right, Peanuts. You were right. Welterweight action here next, folks. We have George Molina against Craig Willingham. We'll just highlight the fighters here in one moment. I just want to get their names on the ticker here on the screen. Again, if you're new to the channel, what's up? We have a great fight community that we're building here. On some of the bigger promotion streams, we have so many people, hundreds of people join the stream. Our live chat is buzzing, especially on the weekend. Appreciate you all here on this Thursday watching some MMA. The start to the end, the unofficial start to the stacked MMA weekend, that is. Oh, I need to get a new mouse. I mean, I'm, I will have a new mouse in a couple of days because I'll be in my uh, office, not <laughs> on the couch. Uh, bear me with me for two more seconds here, folks, and then we'll highlight the fighters. We'll run down their fighting style, their records, etc. I'll give my prediction, then I want to hear yours. We saw peanuts already in the live chat. And by the way, just giving your just giving me your predictions for these fights is it is incentive alone to join the contest because you not only get to show your predictions and and chat with this great. Uh, live chat and fight community that we're building here but you also get to enter our contest 50 likes on the video and we'll give away a prize to someone who commented in the live chat Shang Tsung, I'll let you pick first because I picked first last time, okay <clears throat> excuse me, so as these fighters make their walk out here we'll highlight them and then we'll give my opinion uh, George Morlina, he's 1-1 one one in professional mix martial arts 26 years old, lost, and he's only fought in, uh, in Cage Fury, lost his first fight, won his second, decorated amateur career as well, a ton of fights, uh, wins and loss, like trading wins and losses for the first half of his, of his amateur career, then in his last four fights, uh, he went on a win streak, which ultimately, ba -ba 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 -ba, which ultimately, Gave him a 7-4 and four amateur record. Currently 1-1 one one here going up against his opponent, Craig Willingham. The can man, Craig Willingham. 26 years old out of Virginia Beach. I don't know why that was the one thing I highlighted. Amateur MMA record of 6-0, and oh, making his pro MMA debut here tonight. He's won by, K oh, he's won by TKO or knockout on every fight in his amateur career. Shane, I'm going with the with the can man, Craig Willin Willingham. He's got those killer eyes as you can see in that uh tail of the tail of the tape as well. Oh shit, what the fuck is up my neighbor? What's up Kenneth? How's it going, buddy? 
start of a stack streaming and MMA weekend. Best nickname, the Can Man. Because <laughs> he crushes cans. Crushes cans every day, baby. Sounds like a homeless guy eager to make some recycling money. Well, I mean, that's what that's what the amateur fight scene is, Shane. You're making recycling money anyway. Shane, you were making more money on the on THPN's offices cans than this guy was probably making on the amateur scene. Uh, yeah, shout out to Paulo Costa sending me uh, the secret juice to get me through this stream. I don't know what color it is, but I didn't ask. I didn't ask. Uh, let me know your predictions for this one as well, folks, as we have some welterweights here on the card. Craig Willingham, George Molina in our third prelim bout here on Cage Fury Fighting Championship 114. All right, round one. Let's get it on! Let's get it on. Live play-by-play, -play, live commentary, live reaction and interaction with you folks here. Keep the comments coming. And definitely... George is the shorter fighter. Doesn't have as much range as Willingham. George caught the front kick of Willingham. Tried to, to use it to land a straight right or, or overhand, but was unsuccessful. Six straight knockouts for Willingham on the amateur scene again. Trying to use that jab. It was tagged by Molina. Yeah, Willingham, the straight lefts. Hasn't found, I mean, hasn't found his target yet, though. Molina doing a good job, you know, with his, with his guard. Exchange is there. Willingham's corner, you heard him. No, no hooks, just jabs. Nice knee by Willingham as him and Molina are clinched. Clinch, this is a clinch battle right now, folks. Neither of them even pushed up against the cage. This is a grappling match. And oh, and there we go. Willingham, two nice knees on Molina, pushing him into the cage. Four, five knees. Those are those are hurting Molina there as now they separate. <laughs> I mean, Shane, that was a good comment. That was a good comment. Straight front kick by Willingham. That left jab, it's not... It's not. I mean, it's found a marker a couple times, but... But Molina, there we go, walks forward, gets in the pocket, and lands a nice right hand. Two minutes and 53 seconds left in this first round. Nice counter by Willingham. Keep the comments coming, folks. Comment driven live stream. Welcome to the Say Light Project YouTube channel. We do fight companions a minimum of twice a week. This is we're just getting started for a stacked MMA streaming and fight weekend. William with a nice just straight right there. Tried to throw some hooks after, but good head movement by Molina. Let me know your predictions for any fight on this card, ladies and gentlemen. I'd love to see them. There we go. Willingham's jab starting to land a little bit as we see Molina's nose starting to bruise. It's getting a little red there. Molina tried to throw an overhand and now going for the single leg takedown. William displaying some good takedown defense. Wow, some tremendous takedown defense. Sprawled out, doesn't allow Molina to take him down. And that's going to further frustrate Molina, who hasn't been able to get many shots landed. And now William able to defend his takedowns. Up against the cage now is Molina William. Just throwing those knees. Not a lot of them are getting through, though, as Molina's arms were defending. Molina did on the exit land a left hook. William looks good. William looks good. Making his pro MMA debut, he looks good. And again, six... KO T or six knockouts, six KO TKOs or, or knockout on the amateur. That was a great one, two, a straight one, two. And that left hand landed on Molina. Molina is really just trying to find a home for that, for that overhand left. Beautiful combo. 
right hand by William to the or left to the body, right to the head, and then Molina lands an overhand right. And that one seemed to just startle William for for at least a couple seconds there. Shane, I might need to go get some fast food after this. I was gonna get a seventh Ave pizza before uh, these fights, but uh, got a little sidetracked there. Ooh, and a nice ro nice right again by Molina lands, and and it lands again. Molina's got some dog to him for sure. William, I mean, his technique looks a little bit more crisp and clean here, but Molina baiting William a little bit and being able to land some big, big shots here late in the first round. 20 seconds left in this first round to be exact. Molina lands that right again. Clean. Clean, folks. Cleaner than Mr. Clean's head. Ooh, and Molina looking for a takedown. Slam, and he gets it. That's going to bode well for the judges there. Wow. So William, I believe, wins that first round. Molina lands more of the power shots and then gets a takedown late. Now, I don't think that's enough to win that first round. But where, where it could have been... Where it could have been a 10-8 might be a 10-9 now on the judges' scorecard. So just keep that in mind. I mean, I swear Peanuts has some inside information because Peanuts' predictions seemingly come true every single stream. Like the video, folks. Drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. If we get to 50 likes on the video, we'll give away some merchandise to someone in the live chat here. If we hit 1,300 subscribers, we will also give some prizes uh, to someone in the live chat here. Should I think the can man won that? No, I, I do. I do too. I think it was pure domination until uh, until the end, where Molina landed some hard shots and was able to secure that takedown. All right, folks, round two. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Willingham maybe has to be a little bit more urgent. Well, there he goes. A one two by Willingham, and the right, the straight right gets through. Yeah, and Molina's just throwing just hard shots right now. He wants to end this. William left uh, jab landed twice there in a row. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, dude. You know all these guys. You know all the winners. Molina straight left and then followed with the right hand and then just landed a right hook. Molina actually knock, knocks the mouth guard out of Williams' uh, mouth there. Again, apologize for my voice and just being a little out of it, folks. Uh, just still getting over. Uh, I was sick all last week, still getting over it, but... Good enough to be here with you tonight for Cage Fury. And, oh, there we go. William lands a couple of hard shots. Molina's an absolute beast here, folks. Absolute beast. Taking a bunch of shots here. Still moving forward and trying to land that big one. There we go. William landed a few there on Molina. Volume-wise, technique-wise, I'm giving it to William. And I think he won that first round. Molina, those tough as nails. And he's just looking for a home to land those big overhands because they've rocked William. I, I shouldn't say they've rocked William, but they've, they've pushed him back and he's landed a few of them now. And you only can take so many. You only can take so many before the lights shut off. You can shout out Paolo for the secret juice. Oh, Molina is actually slowing down a little bit here. Left hook by William. Molina now dodging the big shots. Or sorry, William dodging the big shots of Molina. It's kind of making him work a little too much here. Nice right by William. Or William, sorry. 
Two minutes and 15 seconds left in the second round. Shout out to everyone joining us live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. I'm trying to get to 50 likes on the video. If we get 50 likes on the video, we will give away some prizes to a lucky commenter in the live chat. And Molino gets a takedown. Molina now trying to set up on top position here. He's trying to get this takedown a couple times in this fight now. And this is where maybe that experience will show. Brian, what's going on, Brian? How are you, sir? William maybe looking for a, a submission. He's just holding on to Molina's arm right here. Molina now. Half guard. Side control. And now Molina. In the dominant position. Throwing some soft shots. On the body of Willingham. 42 seconds to go in this second round. Molina just tried to pass and get into full mount. Good defending by Willingham. Kenneth, Brian, Shane, Peanuts, Victoria, Aaron, Dan. You all are amazing. Thanks so much for joining. Molina's still in that half guard. 15 seconds left in this second round. Oh, and there we go. Molina gets into the full mount, but there's only 10 seconds left to work. Molina ends this first round or this second round strong in the full mount position, just wailing down shots. Damn, again. So, second round? I don't know. Did you think. Do you think we can give it to Molina? I know he got the takedown a little late, but he had dominant position pretty much the whole time. He ended up transitioning to full mount. I think it could be, it could be one and one. Yeah, I mean, Molina landed some hard strikes in the second round too. What do you folks think? Think Molina did enough to win that second round? <sighs> Ugh. Sorry, folks. Uh, Molina has a base nectar tattoo on his right shoulder. Okay, but did he win that second round, Shane? I listened to a little bit of base nectar back in the day. Actually, I only listened to... Well, are you sure it's base nectar or or it's like not an, an actual like symbol that maybe base nectar ripped off? Or is that like straight up the base nectar... Logo. Okay, round three, folks, and this could be a deciding round. Let's get it all! Yeah, this very, very well could be tied 1-1. One, one. Oh, Molina missed weight, apparently. Willingham with a nice right. Molina body kick. William laying down those jabs, left straight jabs. N none of them, though, are getting through. And Molina going for the takedown again, as he should, because that's where he found success in the second round. He gets it. William had some beautiful takedown defense er in the first round, and he gets right back up into his feet now. I'll give him credit for that. And now with the standing guillotine. Oh, no. William dropped. William had a standing guillotine. He dropped now. And Molina gets out of it. But William is in top position and he goes for it again. Darce choke. Standing Darce choke right now. Crotch to the face of Molina. Standing Darce choke. Yeah, I don't think he's going to get the choke from this angle. 
This is like where you can where you go to where you try to get a guillotine from. Standing up to his feet now is Molina. Gives up the choke, but William now piecing up. Or sorry, Molina now piecing up. Wow. William piecing up Molina there on the exit. Molina going for the takedown again. I mean, that, that's what you have to do. And he looks pretty gassed right now. And again, William, good takedown defense and has the neck of Molina again. Two minutes and 40 seconds left in the third round. Tom, what's going on, buddy? Thank you so much for joining. How's your day going, Tom? Molina going for the takedown, and he gets it. It wasn't pretty, but he gets it. <clears throat> William sitting on his butt, back against the cage. Molina in front of him. And now William trying to tie up the neck again. He's not gonna. You're not gonna get it, dude. You're not gonna get it. And that was a mistake as William went to try to get the neck of Molina. He gave up position, and now Molina has the back of William, and he's going for the rear naked. And William just shoulder checks Molina off of him, and they are back up to their feet. I mean, Molina, he's got heart. He looks a little tired here, though. Uh oh, what happened? Dumb fucking rest. What happened? What's up, Jacob? I I mean, I would I don't know who's winning right now. This has been this has been a close third round. One minute and sixteen seconds left in this third round here, folks. I predicted this fight was even going into the third. I mean, William could certainly be winning it, but I thought maybe Molina did enough in the second round. We shall see. William looks absolutely gassed here. And let's be honest, William, he doesn't look like he has a lot of energy left either. 50 seconds, folks. 50 seconds left in this third and final round. Oh, Molina desperately going for a takedown, but doesn't get it. You're not going to get that, dude. You're so tired. You're so tired. There's no way you're going to get that. If William has any, like, any juice left in him, any gas left in him, shouldn't say juice in this sport, any, unless it's the secret juice, he should just just press forward, man. Because Molina's still walking forward. Molina is gas and he's still walking forward. Still lands a left hook. That's what I'm saying. William's giving him too much room, giving him too much respect here. One one after one, Buffalo seems to love my Eichel because every time he's in the puck, they always yell, boo. It's because he used to play there. Uh, so you like Minnesota? Hey, it's been awesome so far, buddy. It's been awesome so far. Been hitting up a lot of breweries. Um, been to a lot of sporting events. Went to a Gophers game, uh, hockey. Um, been to a couple of wild games. Can't wait to actually go to some Gophers football for the end of the season as well. All right, end of the third round there, folks. Who do you think won this one? Called a no-go on a clear one-sided call. Oof. That sucks. That, that sucks to see. Uh, Jake, did you see Kaprizov got ejected from Minnesota for the, the dowdy uh, intent to injure? Who do you think won this one, folks? I think William won this one. Molina, he's, I mean, more damage done. Yeah, he got the takedowns. That third round was so close, though. So close. <laughs> Where's my secret juice, motherfucker? Vamanos, what's going on? I am 200 million. <laughs> what's up, buddy? How are you doing? Win for the rest of that game? Okay. 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 Uh, feeling better? I'm, I'm all right. You can still hear it, probably. I'm... I, I, so yes to answer your question yeah feeling feeling a lot better just just at the tail end of this so not, not drinking any beer tonight when i'm watching these fights but uh i do have paulo costa's secret juice with me make you strong 
Shout out to everyone viewing, by the way. Let me know. Well, I guess we'll hear the official announcement here. What is it? all these refs of crazy facial hair, man? I appreciate you asking, Mick31, Mick. I'm glad to see you here tonight, as always. All right. This, this might even be a split decision. We're listening in right now. Split decision. Molina wins by split decision. Oh my goodness. William is not happy. Oh man, I don't know about that one personally. Hey, the judges value the the takedowns and and that, I guess, because he did have more success there. All right, there you go. Molina with is the winner in this one. Well, and let's be honest. Uh, so there you go. I'm a mere mortal. Well, we're we're only a, we're only a few fights into this one. If you if you if you go on a massive win streak again throughout the card, peanuts. Assuming you're you're staying up for a, a little bit longer, then we'll see. Uh, I think the Can Man should have won. Uh, yeah, it's it's tough. The Can Man. This is that third round. So what that tells me, Shane, is Molina won that se- won the second round. That tells me Molina won the second round and the third round can man didn't do enough. And I can see how Molina won the won that third round. It's just I'm just like CM Punk said, that one's this is a fight. I mean, it wasn't the most exciting fight, but this is one if you really want to look at like the judging and uh is it fair, is it not fair? You you probably have to rewatch it. Um, kind of knowing what what the what the judges were looking for. Gomez next. My fight pass stream keeps uh, glitching out. I, I hope it's not just me. Um, but the stream's going good, so hey, no complaints, no complaints. Gomez next for Peanuts locking it in. All right, we'll change it up here on the screen. All right, Adam uh, Amado against Mauricio Gomez. You're Shane, is your fight pass freezing or is it just me? Oh, there's NCAA wrestling on Fight Pass now? That's awesome. All right, I'm just going to update the little ticker here at the bottom of the screen, then we'll highlight these next two fighters. 145ers, folks, next here. Bum, ba, da, ba. Calgary won and Boston won at the end of the first. Oof. Go Calgary. Uh, Clifton and Hannafin for the goals. Ottawa to New Jersey to rooting for Ottawa in that one as well. At the end of the first, Tatar and Heischer for New Jersey and Pinto and Hamannick. Nice. I'm glad Hamannick got one. And yeah, Shane Pinto, he's dope. Hope you feel better. You should... Oh, thanks, buddy. I mean, if, if Hy-Vee's open till 11 and this ends around 10... I'm definitely going to go get some tomato soup and 7th Avenue pizza. Now, I know that's a weird combo, but like I've been on the soup train all week and I want to I want to end off strong. And I'm like, I fucking love tomato soup. Uh, and if uh, the hy is closed, then. Yep. Um, and Edmonton Oilers zero and Canes one at the end of the first. Shnikov for the goal. Awesome. I do like the Canes. They, I, I like the Canes more than Edmonton. That's why. That's why I'm interested in that one. All right. I said I'd update the ticker. Then I didn't update the ticker. Let me update the ticker. One forty-five is here next. Keep the comments coming, folks. By the way, you all are amazing. And Victoria, thank you so much for the the NHL updates. I appreciate it. 
Um, as much as he trolls me, I appreciate Jacob too. Like he just knows uh, that his comments grind my gears. Uh, I have a friend who has the same base nectar tattoo, but he got it because he likes base nectar. Uh, oh, uh, Sveshnikov. Fair enough. No, I know. I know the player you're talking about. He's good. He's good. All right, let's highlight both of these fighters here, folks, and I'll get my prediction, then I want to hear yours. Adam Amato against Mauricio Gomez. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> 26 years old is Amato. He is 1-1 one one in pro MMA. Fought a lot in the amateur scene, only losing twice, uh, where he went 6-2. and two. Lost his first fight unanimous decision to Brandon Moran in CFFC 100. Won his second fight at CFF1 C110 by KO TKO in round two. And now he's about to fight Mauricio Gomez, who has a 1 0 professional MMA record. Trains an American top team. Um, his last MMA fight was in Icon FC where he won by heel hook. He's competed in a lot of grappling matches as well. And on the amateur scene, he went three and oh. <clears throat> 145 pounders here, folks. Hmm, who are we going with? Who are we going with? And he's also 26 years old. Um, but, but, uh, this one's hard. Gomez, I mean, a submission guy at an ATT. I picked an ATT guy last time and he didn't pan out for me. So, no, I'll stick with it. Shane, I'm going with Gomez. I'm not confident with it, but I'm going with Gomez. Again, shout out to Peanuts for the super sticker earlier tonight. I appreciate your super sticker. Good, sir. Shane has got Adam. Adam Amato. Let me know your predictions in the live chat, folks. Live play-by-play, -play, live commentary, live reaction, and most importantly, live interaction with all you folks here. Totally interactive. We take all of your comments. If I don't get them up on the screen right away, know that I am reading them all, and I will address them on the screen so that everyone can view them uh, as soon as I can. No beer here tonight, but start to a very, very fun MMA weekend and very fun and jam-packed streaming weekend as well. I will say, though, shout out to Paulo Costa for sharing some of that secret juice, motherfucker. <clears throat> All right, folks, you ready? Round one. Let's get it on! Let's get it on as we continue the prelims here. If you need a place to watch this stream, by the way, Facebook, Cage Fury Facebook page is streaming it, as well as UFC Fight Pass. Catching the leg... Of Amato was Gomez. Let a couple strikes on after that. Gomez is very aggressive to start this one. Firing kicks. Whereas Amato, the, the, the taller fighter, the rangier fighter, wants to probably pick Gomez out at range. Gomez, though, wants to get into the pocket and just land some bombs. Oh, and some nice shots by Amato. Some nice hooks by Amato. I don't know if that right hook, that right landed by Amato, but it sounded like it did. Gomez is the one pushing forward, though. Amato lands a nice right hand to the body, so that's what that's what was the ring dinger. Gomez is still the one pushing forward, but Amato is getting the strikes that land. Amato goes for the kick. Amato or Gomez catches it and now trying to go over the single single leg takedown. Good takedown defense thus far by Amato. Gomez still hanging on to the single leg. Let's it go. Another clinched up. Amato's looking good in the opening minute of this fight. Three minutes and 26 seconds left in the first round. A nice left, straight left lands on Gomez. A little wobbly there. Center of the octagon. 
Amato kind of teased the takedown, went for an overhand right, and it landed. Yeah, I mean, Amato's just trying to stay in range here, not allow Gomez to get in the pocket where he can show his power. And The left hooks of Amato look good. Combo there, the left hook and overhand right, followed by another overhand right by Amato. Yeah, Gomez has thrown a lot of kicks here. Low kicks, body kicks. And oh, and there we go. with Another kick. Amato grabbed the leg. They rolled and rolled. Gomez threatened with a heel hook. Amato still on his back. Gomez gets right into side control. Jumps right into side control here. Gomez slicing through the guard of Amato. Amato's in the half guard. Or Gomez in the half guard of Amato throwing some strikes in the top. I don't know who just said that, but one of the corners just said, keep chucking. <coughs> My apologies, folks. Just getting over a cold here. Nice elbow by Gomez. Still top position, Gomez. Some shots to the body. One minute and 21 seconds left. Another elbow landed by Gomez. Again, that half guard. And Gomez getting some shots in in that half guard. So credit to him. Yeah, Gomez only postured up for about a second. And shout out to everyone who's been voting in the poll question. I appreciate it. Uh, back to his feet is Gomez. 44 seconds left. Is he going to try to slice through the guard again? Is he going to allow him out to get back up? No, he's got one ankle. Oh, and a nice. That was a beautiful move. Grab the ankle of Amato, push it to the side, and just landed a couple shots. Gomez rocked him. Amato back up to his feet, and Gomez right up clinched. Pushing him up against Cage. All right, that sounds perfect. Thanks, Victoria. Ten seconds left in this first round. Yeah, I mean that was that was a beautiful shot by Gomez. As a as Amada was on his back, they're trying to kick with the up kicks. Gomez grabs one of the ankles. Pushes both of the legs out of the way and just dives with a nice punch there. Uh, I'm just going to grab a lozenge here so my voice doesn't die. Getting, all, getting over a cold here, folks, so bear with me as we get through this. My voice is just coming back here. But excited to be here with you for Cage Fury FC. 114 live here on the Stay Light Project YouTube channel. Round two is upon us. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Gotta get some Ricola up in this mouth. All right, round two, folks. Let's get it all. That's a close first round, too, folks. Amato and Gomez. And Gomez just right off the bat comes out swinging. I dig it. I dig it. Let's go, baby. Firing kicks and then those hooks, though, by Amato make him pay. Very much exactly what we saw earlier in this round on the feet. Nice combos by Gomez, followed by the kick. And Gomez going for the takedown. 
Almost got reversed there, but great work by Gomez. Gomez grappling and gets his back. Gomez gets his back, secures the body triangle. Oh my goodness. Oh, it doesn't quite. No, it doesn't secure the body triangle. Actually, singles one of the arms for Amado. So Amado only has one arm to fight the hands. As Gomez, instead of securing the body triangle, he's got one of the arm locked of Amado to his side with his legs. And now he's able to soften him up. And he gets the switch. Oh, almost got his. Almost got the rear naked. Again, Amado only has one hand to fight. Or one arm to fight the hands. Body triangle. And there we go. Oh, it. It. It is all over. There we go, Shane. Gomez, what a, what a performance. Honestly, that is a great display of mixed martial arts, folks. Because Adam Amato, early in the first round, though Gomez was landing some shots in the pocket, Amato looked amazing with those hooks and some of his straight punches that were getting through. Gomez recognized this guy's piecing me up a little bit on the feet. I got to take it to the ground, and that's where I have the experience. Great, great performance by Gomez there. Let's go, Peanuts. Let's go. I wanted him to win. ATT's back. <laughs> hey, I dig the soundtrack that Cage Fury plays in between fights. It's good music. And you guys can't hear it through the mic here, so we're good. YouTube won't shut us down. Again, if you want to watch this stream, I shouldn't say that. If you want to watch the fights, go to Facebook, Cage Fury Facebook, or UFC Fight Pass. Again, apologies. Folks, still getting over a cold here, so got the freaking Ricolas. Got a whole pack of Ricolas next to me. Some cough drops. <coughs> Hoping the voice holds up. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes, as always, folks. And if you're viewing on Twitter, migrate over to YouTube so you can join our live chat and so you can enter our contest. If we get to 50 likes on this video by the end of the stream, we'll give away some prizes, folks. Two, some lucky commenters in the live chat. Yeah, Gomez, beautiful display of jiu-jitsu there. For those who are on Twitter watching, I will share with you the link Right now. Mauricio Gomez. Let's go, baby. Great victory and great performance indeed. Just going to update the ticker here on the bottom of the screen in a moment, and we'll get right back to the, the next fight, folks. I want to hear your predictions as well. For this next fight coming up, we will highlight it here in a moment. We'll talk about the fighters. We'll talk about their records. We'll talk about their style. I'll give my prediction, then I'll encourage you to give me yours. <laughs> a couple prelims left here, and then we get on to the main card of the evening. Two title fights. Co-main event, main event. It should be great here, folks. John Morgan on the broadcast with CM Punk, and they're doing a great job. Uh, I just shared the link on Twitter if anyone wants to... If anyone on Twitter is viewing, I just shared the YouTube link, so hit that up. And join our contest here. Again, like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. If we hit 50 likes on the video, we'll choose a winner from the live chat. Hell, if we also get... 1300 subscribers by the end of the stream as well. We'll do another we'll do another giveaway. That's how generous I'm feeling here today. I'll get right back to the comments here in a sec. Might have to pop in a 7th Ave after work tonight. Ooh, man. I mean I just know how late high V how, when does high V close? Let me know. Because that's the closest grocery store. Morrison next. Okay. Um, ba -ba -ba. Welterweights again next day. Eh? 
And I appreciate everyone viewing us live here on the Sea Light Project YouTube channel. Hernandez and Morrison next year, folks. I'm going to get them up on the screen here. We'll highlight them a little bit. Then I will give my official prediction. And then I want to hear yours. Here we go. Here we go. I'm just going to share this link one more time on Twitter. I'll close that tab. And give my undivided attention right back to you folks. But as the fighters walk out here, I'm going to share this one more time. Then we'll highlight them here in a moment. All right. So we got <coughs> Jesus Hernandez against Daniel Morrison. Hernandez, 35 years old, uh, fighting out of both these fighters, fighting out of Florida where this event is being held. Hernandez, one and two pro MMA record. Uh, he lost his last fight to uh, George, uh, George Molina, funny enough. And all his fights, oh yeah, two of his, two of his last fights were in CFFC. His first fight was in Rive, Rise FC. Uh, he did go five and one as an amateur. Lost his first professional MMA fight, won his second, lost his third. Not trying to get back to 500. His opponent, Daniel Morrison, 23 years old, so shit, more than 10 years younger. Also out of Florida, as I said. One and one. He lost his first pro MMA fight in Titan FC. Won his second in World Class Combat. And he's making his CFFC debut here tonight. A lot of amateur fights. <coughs> Excuse me. Nine amateur fights. Uh, ba 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 where he went five and four. Hmm. Who am I picking for this one, folks? Who am I picking? Close at 11. Let's go. There's no way this event's going to 11 here. As we're an hour and what? 15 minutes in. Two more fights left, or two more fights, you know, including this one. So one more fight after this one left on the prelims. And then how many... On the main card here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five fights on the main card. We should be good, Matthew. We should be good. Tomato soup and freaking 7th Avenue pizza for dinner. Let's go. I don't think they have the breakfast pizzas yet. Matt, how'd you like the breakfast pizza, by the way? Have you tried it yet? <coughs> oh, I hate being sick, folks. and I'm getting over it here. Definitely, uh, definitely, this is the end of it. I feel like tremendous here today. It's just like that last little bit of phlegm. And you're at, probably asking me, then why the hell are you going on a live stream? Why do we have to hear it? I'm trying to mute it as we go. But uh, it's just a great event here tonight. And it's the opening big event of, the, of a stacked MMA weekend and a stacked uh, streaming schedule as well, folks. Uh, I'm just going to update the ticker here. I haven't given my prediction yet, eh? Oh, Shane, I don't know. I'm going with the young guy. I'm going with the young guy. There we go. Yeah, I'm going with... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Daniel Morrison. Let's go. Lock it in. <laughs> And we got the guy with the crazy chops. The great the crazy chops of a facial hair. Shane's got Jesus. I mean Jesus. Locking it in. All right, folks. Round one. Let's get it all. Hernandez throws some big kicks there. Morrison just walks forward. Gets the takedown, but Hernandez gets Morrison in a guillotine. This is tight. This is tight. Gets out of it. 
And now Morrison with a top position. Morrison taking the fight to the floor early against a taller and lankier opponent. Hernandez setting up a triangle. Hernandez set up a triangle. Potentially an arm bar here, but he is threatening with submissions from his back. Yeah, Morrison has his arm trapped for a moment, and now it's free, back in the full guard. Still in the full guard of Hernandez. Again, shout out to Peanuts for the, the early donation right off the hop here, brother. You're amazing. I appreciate it. He hit us with the super sticker right off the hop. Unbelievable. Nice strikes in the top position by Morrison. Doing a good job posturing up, laying some shots, getting right back down. Hernandez, though, I mean, credit to him as well, shifting his hips around, continuing to look for submissions here, but Morrison making him pay whenever he finds an opening and at, with some elbows here now in particular. You can shout out to everyone viewing, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. This is just the beginning. Cage Warriors and UFC all day Saturday, folks. It's going to be unbelievable. Posturing up is Morrison. Laying down some elbows now. Morrison pushing Hernandez's head and just pushing him up against the cage. Posturing up and then laying down some shots. Two minutes and 42 seconds left in this first round. Uh, what fight are you looking forward to most at UFC 281? Uh, what's up out of Bayou? My man, how's it going? Thank you so much for joining. <laughs> Just watching some Cage Fury fights, dude. How are you out of Bayou? Um, Aaron, I I'm really, you know what I'm most excited for? I'm really I'm most excited for Zhang Wei Li to knock that disgrace of a champion, Carla Esparza, out. Carlos Barza is a disgrace with champion. That was the worst fight I've ever seen. It wasn't even a fight. It was a staring count contest. She doesn't deserve to have that belt. I hope Whaley knocks her the fuck out. That's what I'm most excited for. <coughs> Still in the full guard. Uh, is Morrison... Sorry, I was just reading the chat. Uh, Adebayo, how are you excited for UFC? And Adebayo, by the way, one of our loyal, uh, loyal followers here as well. Aaron's giving the thumbs up. Agreed. Er, what's up, Er? How can I stream this? I can't find it anywhere online. It's on Face Cage Fury's Facebook page, and or UFC Fight pa Fight Pass, dude. But Cage Fury's Facebook page is showing all the prelims, and there's two left. Er, thank you so much for joining this great fight. Team, just for commenting, ER has automatically entered the contest, folks. And you can do so, too, if you're viewing. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. No problem, buddy. Cage Fury Fighting Championship on Facebook. Uh, they're streaming the rest of this fight and then the next one. And then I think the main card is all in UFC Fight Pass. Oh, I appreciate it, brother. You're an absolute beauty. Hey, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Nasty elbows from top position by Morrison. He's done this this entire round inside the full guard of Hernandez. Elbows, punches. I mean, Hernandez has tried to threaten with some submissions he did early, but since that early guillotine and potential uh, triangle, it's been all Morrison. ER, I appreciate it, dude. We, sh we stream fight companions and watch parties here minimum of two times a week, um, sometimes even more. So I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And Aaron's agreeing with my uh, Zeng Wei Lee. I mean, I'm excited to see the prayer fight. Don't get me wrong. Poirier Chandler should be electric. Full mount, last 10 seconds left for Morrison. Morrison has the full mount laying down elbows. Five, four, three, two, one. I mean, the ref finishes the round off top. I mean, the ref did a good job there. Hernandez was surviving. Didn't cut him with any elbows or anything like that. But the young man, I mean, that that that's pure domination there. Hernandez has didn't do anything. 
Didn't do anything other than two submission attempts, and they weren't really even that dire. Um, yeah, Poirier Chandler is going to be an absolute banger. You know, I'm excited to see Dan Hooker get back in the win column, too, because the UFC just, look, they fed him a, an up-and-comer, sure, who is a good jiu-jitsu guy, claims he's been in Muay Thai or he's been doing Muay Thai since he's 13, but uh, stand-ups, whatever. The only reason he beat Clay Guida is because he was on the ground. He probably would beat Clay Guida anyways, let's be perfectly honest, but still. But that's just the thing. Beats Clay Guida, he's ranked like 30-something, and then fights Dan Hooker next. Welcome back to the division, Dan Hooker. I hope you dominate this guy and get some respect back on your name. Like, Dan Hooker, I mean, not the most decorated fighters for his wins and losses in his MMA career, but, like, you guys remember the Barbosa fight? He didn't win that one, but he would not, like, the heart and toughness that that guy has, it's just, it's, it's electric. It's fun to watch. All right, folks, round two. Let's get it on! Let's get it on. Hernandez is just swinging for the fences here and actually threatened with his own takedown. Morrison just grabbed the neck and dragged it to the ground. Morrison going for the guillotine. Darce choke. Darce choke. It's not the best angle for the Darce choke there. Oh, and there we go. Yeah, Morrison needs to pull Hernandez down, try to get his back, and they separate back to their feet. <coughs> And for those who are just joining, getting over a cold here, so bear with me. Beautiful double leg takedown by Morrison. Slams Hernandez to the ground right into half guard. I mean, youth, youth, baby. Look at Morrison go. In the half guard, Hernandez doing a good job of holding Morrison in place as he gets his arms hooked under one of the legs or his own leg. Not allowing Morrison to do much in this position other than lay some elbows. Morrison's going to have to advance this, and he looks like he's preparing to. Pushing up against, uh, pushing down against the thigh, tried to maybe even just get what, his one leg out of it, go to side control. Now it looks like he's trying to work to get into mount. So I guess the last prelim coming up is Matt. Uh, for Ilo, Iolo, for Iolo against William Rents, I believe that's the next one. Nice sweep, and Morrison now is in the back, sinking in that rear naked, and he has it. He has it. Hernandez. Let's go, baby. Two for two. I shouldn't say two for two. Um. Two for three, but two in a row. My predictions. Let's go, baby. Hey, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Absolute domination by Daniel Morrison. Wow. So the, the broadcast is saying that Hernandez actually had the, the support of, uh, you know, the local guy, I guess, the support of the crowd, but uh, they were cheering for Morrison. How, and, and how can't you, you know? How can you not? Absolute dominant performance there. What, uh, what a way to start his MMA career. This is a good win on now the record. Because he just did everything right in this one. Now, I know he's facing a guy who is very, very green as well and a lot older than him, but the guy was in incredible shape here. Morrison did a great job of taking it to the ground early because he realized, okay, this guy does have better striking than me. He's a lot more lanky. He's a lot longer. He could maybe piece me up on the outside and maybe win win by judge's decision. No, I'm going in for the kill, and I, and I appreciate it. We're all two and four. We didn't do the first one. Two and four. There you go. I'm glad Shane's keeping score for me. <coughs> Yeah, the first one just started right off the bat, Shane. So I didn't even have time to uh, to highlight the fighters or anything in that one. All right, I'm just gonna update the ticker here with the last fight on the prelims. And then we'll then we're getting into the main card, folks. Which the main card is an absolute banger. I'm really excited for. And honestly, even though these aren't the most like polished fights here in Cage Fury, look at the finishes. 
We have one fight go to the decision. Fun stuff indeed. Keep the comments coming, folks. The comment driven live stream, as you all know. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. That's incentive to give us your predictions and interact with us in the live chat. Just by doing so, you enter our contest. All right, I believe this is the next fight. It's the last fight listed on the prelims. Oh, my stomach's already rumbling, Matt. My stomach's already rumbling. I need that seventh Ave. For those who don't know, 7th Avenue Pizza, is a, it's a frozen pizza in Minnesota, and I think they're now in... Where the hell were they shipping to earlier, Matthew? Chicago? Uh, I'm gapping on the other ones, but... They're now going to be uh, shipping out of state, which is awesome, and selling out of state, which is great because they're the best damn frozen pizza ever. I'm not saying that because they support this channel and support my podcast. I'm saying that because like they are the best damn frozen pizza I've ever had. I'm not a big frozen pizza guy personally, but oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. Oh, and I should say this because I don't know if I'll, if I'll have a chance tomorrow. Uh, the Shudo Brazil card is kind of a moving uh, target as, as far as if I'm going to do it or not. But um, happy uh, Veterans Day and Remembrance Day for us in Canada. Veterans Day for you folks in the United States. I don't have my poppy on just because... They don't do the poppy thing here. That's Canada. But, uh, you know, shout out to all you folks. Thank you so much for your service. And we're thinking about you all day. And it's so cool, actually, for the troops. And that's what reminded me of, of that, like, just in this moment was, uh, oh, whoops. Looks like this is not the prelim. My apologies, folks. I am going to... It's Lopez and Boyd. Uh, okay. My apologies here, folks. I'm going to switch this up. There we go. Featured prelim here. At a catch rate of 165 pounds. I'm just going to change it up on the ticker here again. Again, with these cards, Cage Fury, prelims, bout order, subject to change, even on the main card at times. So my apologies. Uh, I, do my I do my best here, and we're, uh, I mean, Peanuts... You should have... Peanuts, I got it wrong, buddy. I got it wrong. It's Lopez and Boyd. But Rents hasn't fought yet. Unless there was some, like, early prelim that I missed. But anyways. Are there any, like, diehard Cage Fury fans in the chat right now? No, it's uh, not the most buzzing chat. We got the, the regulars here, which I absolutely love. But if there any cage war or cage, cage, I do a lot of cage warrior streams. That's why I keep saying that. So then you just like cage fury diehards here. All right, Shane, I'll see you back here in a sec. <laughs> Again, shout out to Peanuts. Came in hot into the the chat with the super sticker right off the bat. Absolute beauty. Yeah, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. All right, we'll highlight both of these guys on the featured prelim here now. We got uh Shlomo Boyd. He's four and four in professional mixed martial arts. Two uh, or twenty-two years old, fighting at a catch rate of one sixty-five pounds. In this one, take a look more in depth. And yeah, twenty-two years old, so very very young. He's fought in B two fighting series where he went two and two. He's now making his Cage Fury FC debut here tonight against Brandon Lopez. He's competed in grappling competitions and he's at a, and he went two and two on the amateur scene. 22 years old again for Shlomo board up against his opponent, Brandon Lopez, four and five professional MMA record. 33 years old. Uh, he's two and two in global Legion. Um, and I don't think he's yet to find and he's never won in CFFC. So back in 2021, he competed in CFFC 100, came back for CFFC 106 earlier this year, lost to Derek uh, Age Day, uh, went and fought Global Legions where he lost, and now is back CFFC, looking to get his first win in CFFC and get his record back to 500 is Brandon Lopez. 
I'm going with the young guy again in this one, Shane. I don't know if you're here, but locking it in the 22 year old Shlomo Boyd. What a name, too. Shlomo. I'm sure him and the Shmo will have a lot of fun with uh, the name if he uh, continues to rise in the MMA rankings, continues to become a bigger name in the sport. Keep the comments coming, folks. Comment driven live stream. Like the video, jump a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. If we get to 50 likes on this video, we will give away some prizes to a lucky commenter in the live chat. Hell, if we get to 1,300 subscribers by the end of the stream, we'll also give away some City Life Project merchandise to a lucky person who commented in the live chat. So that's incentive just to comment in the live chat and interact with us here. All right, I'm going with Shlomo Boyd. Shane, I don't know if you're here, but we're locking it in. Shlomo Boyd missed weight for the catch weight. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He missed weight for a catch weight bout. How do you miss weight for a catch weight bout, folks? Honestly. What is this? By the way, did anyone see uh Israel Desanya and his uh his cr one of his crazier ways to cut weight? De crazy desperation ways to cut weight. Yeah, he flat out just said. I busted a nut to cut weight. I was like, what? <laughs> it's going to be a clip. It's going to be a clip. It's circling around Twitter now. Um, Shane, you back yet? He's giving me no response here. He went out to get some Big Macs, I swear. But again, Brandon Lopez not doing too good right now as he is only... <laughs> He's one and four in his last fights. In his last five fights, Shlomo Boyd uh, three and two in his last five. Peanuts, do you got any other? Do you got any other picks last minute here as uh as we enter round one? Let's get it all. Boyd in the blue. Lopez in the red. Okay, Shane, I picked uh, I picked Shlomo Boyd. I didn't know he missed weight for a freaking catch weight bout, but yeah, I picked Shlomo Boyd, locking it in. Boyd looking for the trip, doesn't get it. Peanuts locking in Lopez. Oh, and Boyd takes Lopez to the ground. So, Shlomo Boyd uh, usually fights at welterweight, wanted to move down to lightweight, couldn't do it, so they had a, agreed on a catch weight of 165, still couldn't do it, weighed in at 169. Nice. Shane's very confident in his pick. He's picking the guy I didn't. Picking Gomez. Brandon Gomez. Four and five pro MMA career. Currently one and four in his last five fights. Boy takes Lopez right back to the ground. Yeah, Lopez tried to throw a big right hand. Too much momentum on that one. And Boyd goes right under it and takes him to the ground. Right back to their feet now, though. And Lopez, Lopez is trying to chase for a single leg here on Boyd. All right, gives up on the single leg. Knee to the body by Lopez. You can shout out to everyone viewing live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. Live play by play, live commentary, live reaction, of course, interaction with all you amazing folks here. Like the video and drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. Boyd got out of the way of, got out of, the way of a lot of Lopez's shots there. Clinched back up in the center of the octagon. You can shout out to Peanuts. Right off the bat with the donation. Thank you so much, buddy. Trip attempt again by Boyd. He's not getting those trips. He's finding success with just the takedowns. Lopez is a big 155 or two. I imagine that's where he fights at if he made weight easily. Out of body saying, let's go, Boyd. Let's go, baby. Let's go. That's who I picked as well. Boyd looking for a home for that right hand, but he doesn't land any of them. Two minutes and seven seconds left in this first round.
Yeah, Lopez is doing a good job of getting out of the way of Boyd's shots here. Boyd goes to clinch, and Lopez lands two, three, four really good knees in the tie clinch here on Boyd. Some really nice knees landing on Boyd by Lopez. Oh, and a couple of those rocked him. And Boyd disengages. Over and left by Lopez doesn't land. One minute and 20 seconds left in this first round. Board straight left. Straight right, I should say. Want to do a pizza bed on the style bender fight. I'm listening. I'm listening. I like pizza bets. I like UFC bets. I'm listening. Yo, Zoomer Loyal is what is up, buddy? How's your week going? Happy start to the MMA weekend. Nice right hand and combination by Boyd. I mean, credit to Lopez, though. Once he gets in these clinches, Lo Lopez's uh, Muay Thai is, is showing. Super Loyalist, how are you? Glad to see you here. And uh, yeah, like I said, buddy, I'm listening. I'm listening. Matthew, I'm listening. Lopez now going for that single leg. He tried it earlier. Double leg, and he got it. He got the double leg and actually took the back of Boyd, but there's only five seconds left in this first round. Hey, solid first round. Pretty even. Oh, Boyd looks tired. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Boyd looks tired. Who do you think won that first round, folks? That one's freaking tight. That one's freaking tight. Oh, my goodness. Shane, what do you think? Peanuts? Matt, Zoomer, Loyalist? Anybody watching these Cage Fury FC fights with me? Aaron? What are you guys thinking about this first round? I mean, Boyd kind of won. The, well, Boyd was doing better in the first half. Lopez was doing better in the second half. Could it be a draw of a round or just like... Those tie clinch knees, though, man. I'll say Boyd won that one. I think he landed more ultimately, but it's close. I'm about to load up the fight in a sec. Uh, I'm doing good, though. What did you think of the press conference? Hey. Put it this way. I watched a lot of the media day interviews, so the press conference was like... I'll say this. The media folk who are asking questions can fucking go to hell, man. Because they all suck. I don't know how they were ever allowed to be even entered into the UFC media press row. Like, and I shouldn't say all of them. That's me being a dick. But you know what I mean. And you know which ones I'm talking about. Oh, I got a parlay, bro. I got a parlay. Are you going to knock him out? It's like, dude, shut the fuck up. Are you not? Are you a journalist? Get out of here. That pissed me off. I thought that the, the press conference overall had a couple moments with Frankie. By the way, we're in the second round here. Let's get it all. With Frankie. Anik had a good, you know... Little spiel on Frankie. The rest of it, like, whatever. It was media day. I got everything I needed. The questions were atrocious. Bad doesn't even doesn't even do it ju justice. They were atrocious, dude. Like, I wouldn't even call myself a journalist because, like, I didn't get go to journalism school, journalism school or anything like that. But like, I work in media. I've had I've had a radio show. I've had a podcast where I've interviewed more people than I could ever count. I would never, ever embarrassed myself asking those questions it was it was disgusting it was disgusting so the press conference was okay the media day all the clips were awesome prior to that i watch it anyways because i'm a junkie you know uh, an mma fight junkie right like all of us here but uh yeah the questions were particularly bad during this one and you know prayer not being able to speak english i mean it's not his fault maybe a little bit he could learn but you know what i mean it just didn't give that fuel to the fire that we saw. And Poirier Chandler, they settled the beef with DC. So it was just weird. It was just weird. Anyway, sorry. Focus back to this fight. But uh, thank you for the questions, Zoomer. Listen, everyone, Zoomer loyalists. And if anyone else wants to talk UFC, please hit me up in the live chat. 
Roll MMA fans here. That's what it's all about. The interaction more so than the, the fights is what we do here. Three minutes left in the second round. I wonder if my voice is even going to last till the end of this, folks. <coughs> Coming off a little bit of a cold here. That tie clinch again from Lopez. Oh, and a flying knee from the two flying knees from the, three flying knees from the tie clinch. Oh my goodness. Boyd seems tired. Boyd seems tired. Lopez still seems in this. Nice body kick by Lopez. Bo Lopez is getting the better of Boyd seemingly halfway through the second round. I think Boyd's just tired. I'll let you pick who you think is going to win for two seventh ab pizzas. I know it works so I can only listen. I know Matt's at work. I know Matt's at work. That's right. Um, oh, fuck. Just Izzy and Pera? Are we doing like one pizza for for like each fight that we want to predict? Another another knee coming out of the clinch by Lopez, but a nice left by Boyd. I mean, he's not out of this. He's still pushing forward. He's still got a heart. He's probably been here before. He's fought in bigger guys, but man, he's just Lopez is getting him in that tie clinch, and he's just destroying him with knees. Ooh, on the exit, though, a right hook by Boyd. Uh, Matt, yes, I'll do the bet, but I don't know if I can announce. I don't know if I can uh, pick right now. I need some time still. Because I don't know if I should just drink the secret juice Kool-Aid and say prayer is going to knock him out with that left hook again. Because obviously Izzy's prepared for it. But at the same time, if there's anyone to dethrone Izzy right now, it's going to be the guy who's beat him twice. So it's... It's tough, man. You can see where I'm leaning, but I don't know if I should like make it official yet. One minute left in the second round. Boyd looks dead tired, folks, but he's not out of this. He's, he is landing some solid strikes on the on the exits of those clinches, but as soon as Lopez gets him in the tie clinch, he's been piecing him up with the knees. In the live chat, who do you folks think win the main event of UFC 281? Izzy or Pereira? What, what's my pick here for the 7th Ave pizza bet? 30 seconds remaining. Lopez. Trying to get on the back of Boyd here. He has a, he has a body lock. See on overhook. And oh, tried to go over the takedown was Lopez and a good job by Boyd. Not get in. Boyd smiling there. Didn't give it to him. Boyd stayed on his feet. Boyd survived that. But Lopez, he's looking good. He's looking good. Boyd's had some good takedown or had some good takedown attempts in that second round. A few strikes, a few solid strikes and like moments. But I, I would say, I would say Gopez, Go, Gopez, Gomez again won that second round. Lopez, Jesus Christ, I'm tired. Lopez, <laughs> we just had Gomez earlier, and he's kind of employing his game plan to a T. Okay, I can if I can get in deep and get into the get him into the tie clinch. I could hold him in here and piece him up with knees for a few times, and he's he's not going to get out of it. Now, the last time he got out of it, Boyd did do did land an overhand left. Third and final round here. I have to say that Lopez is probably winning this fight thus far. Boyd may have won that first round, but Lopez won that second, in my opinion. Tell me I'm wrong in the live chat as we start the third and final round. Of the prelims here, folks, and of this fight. Let's get it all! Peanuts is off. Good night. Good night, Peanuts. Again, shout out to you. Thank you for the donation, bro. I, I really appreciate it, as always. And I hope you have a great night again. Congratulations for graduating culinary school. You're an absolute beauty, Peanuts. We'll see you on the next one. We'll see you for Cage Warriors on Saturday, right, Peanuts?
Just the Izzy fight. Uh, well, I mean, I'll go against the green and pick Pereira. Someone has to. Calgary and Boston. End of the second. 2-1 Boston. Uh, McAvoy with the goal in the period. Oh, I like McAvoy, but God damn it, I want Calgary to win that one. Thanks for the update, Victoria. You're awesome. One minute into this third and final round. And Boyd's still able to land some strikes, but he doesn't have speed, and he's really fighting to take this to the ground. Lopez definitely looks more fresh. His cardio definitely looks better. New Jersey and Ottawa Senators end of the second 3-2. New Jersey, Wood with the goal. I do like New Jersey. I do like New Jersey. They're, they're an up-and-coming team. They're going to be great in a couple of years. Boyd tr tried to take Lopez down with a judo throw. Lopez now with a guillotine. Standing guillotine by Lopez. Can he get the squeeze? No, I don't think he's got it. He lets it go. Let's go for a takedown instead. Changes levels, I should say. Instead, as Boyd's pushed up against the cage, Lopez, level change, looking for a takedown. Lopez has had tremendous success in this fight with the, the tie clinch and employing his leg kicks. 4-1-K. Oh, and a nice takedown by Lopez. I mean, he's sh and he's getting the back. Oh, he tried to crawl up and get the back of Boyd. Boyd back up to his feet. Lopez still has uh, just the body hooks, though. 4-1 Canes and Hyman with the goal for Edmonton. And Burns, Sveshnikov, and Stahl for the Canes. Let's go, Canes. Let's go. <laughs> it's still, I'm still not used to Brett Burns being on the, the Canes. Nice takedown again by Lopez. Lopez is going to win this fight, folks. Shane, I can't, you're going to take this one again. I can't believe it. Full mount. Full mount by Lopez. Two minutes and eight seconds left, and Lopez has the full mount. Uh... Do you want all the Canadians for, Canadian teams for future games? Yeah, sure. Yeah, because those are th those, and I mean, I'm I'm usually watching the Minnesota ones. Lopez with another takedown, raw throwing it. Now Lopez going for another choke, perhaps. So he has the net control on board. Uh, Victoria, I'm not sure if I'm streaming tomorrow. I'm for sure streaming all day on Saturday. Tomorrow, I'm gonna play it by ear. Um, I might actually go out and hang out with some friends on in the evening, but if not, I will stream. Uh, I'll let you know on my YouTube uh, community tab. That's where I keep everyone updated. But uh, yeah, anytime you want to give me updates, like again, I thank you. That's amazing, and I appreciate it so much. Lopez. Dominant position right now. Half guard. Boyd trying to roll. I mean, credit to Boyd for... He's, he's still... like he's he, He's been in this fight in the third round where I thought he was... I thought he was gassed in the second round, but where it looked like he was gassed. But no, he still had a little pep in his step, but Lopez just showing his conditioning here, to be perfectly honest. Lopez is winning by showing his conditioning, and he... He found something that worked in the tie clinch. And yeah, I mean, very deserving win for Lopez here. Assuming he does win, which I assume he will. Final 10 seconds left in this third round. And that's it. End of the fight. Look at the finish it! All right, folks, let me know who you think won this one. I'm giving it to Lopez. I think Boyd won the first round, and I think Lopez won the second and third. I don't know why Boyd's walking away with his hands. He must know. He's a smart cookie. Shout out Paulo Costa for the secret juice. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum.
Again, shout out to everyone viewing us live here on the Say Life Project YouTube channel. Featured prelim just came to a close. Interested to see the main card here, as it's gonna be. It's gonna be a fun one, folks. It's gonna be a fun one. Two title fights in the main event and co-main event. Five fight main card here, and oh my goodness, as these prelims just buzzed by. I appreciate everyone who's liking the video and dropping comments in the live chat. By liking the video and dropping a comment in the live chat, you're automatically entered into winning some prizes. Really appreciate all the interaction, all the support we're getting on this channel, folks. Like and subscribe if you dig the content because not only do we do streams minimum of two days a week, we're doing, we're doing a bunch this weekend. We have a ton of other content as well, and we just love giving back to all you folks. So like the video. Once we get to 50 likes, we will give away some prizes. Paulo Costa needs to start an energy drink brand called Secret Juice. I think he is. I think he's working on it. Or like some like uh, pre-workout or something, right? Like uh, some pre-workout creatine mix with Secret Juice. Uh, like I said, uh, Victoria, I don't know yet. Um, I might. I might not. We're playing that one by ear, but I'm definitely going to be streaming Saturday. All day Saturday. Cage Warriors in the morning, UFC in the evening. Uh, tomorrow, I'm not sure. I might, I might go out and watch my, watch my friend play some music. But I'll let you all know on my community tab here on, uh, on YouTube. Yeah, Lopez with a good win. <laughs> solid, solid uh, decision there. Wins by unanimous decision. Awesome. I appreciate it. Because, yeah, it's tough for me to watch those games here. Um, I know Minnesota's playing, so that might be on the in the background of the, the, the bar. I might go and watch my friend play music. But, yeah, Victoria, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. What, what a beauty. Hey, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Thank you so much, Victoria. And shout out to Lopez. And Lopez trying to drop down to 55 as well, says the broadcast. All right, main card next here, folks. I'm going to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. On the other side, main card, Hirata, uh, Starner. I mean, five high-profile fights in this in this particular league, in this particular promotion, followed by the vacant flyweight title against Paiva and Takahashi. St. Louis versus Smith for the lightweight title. Very excited for this one. Again, two-minute break on the other side. We will be back for the main card of Cage Fury 114. You all are the best. Keep the comments coming. Like the video. Drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes and just so I can interact with you. And I'll see you in two minutes on the other side. Just to cruise it Shawty said she love me But it's worse She'll never prove it I 
I never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above. Get the cream on the side. Make you laugh to know it. That's the stuff that I love. La, la, da, da, da. We can be friends if you wanna. We can just talk if you wanna. We can hold hands if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. We could just laugh if you wanna. Late nights on the stars if you wanna. We could just kiss if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. It's like the story of my life. Best friends, but we rocking all the same things. Say you need me, but you really trying to change lanes. Well, I don't even care. In my life, I don't battle with no fear. Fighting dragons always been a real one. Bought a new way. Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she love me, but it's fresh and never prove it. I never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above. Get the cream on the side. Make you laugh to know it. That's the stuff that I love. La, la, da, da, da. We can be friends if you wanna. We can just talk if you wanna. We can all hang. Rocking all the same things. Say you need me, but you really trying to change lanes. Well, I don't even care. In my life, I don't battle with no fear. Fighting dragons always been a real one. I just bought a new way. Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she love me, but it's fresh and never prove it. I never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above. Get the cream on the side. Make you laugh to know it. That's the stuff that I love. La, la, da, da, da. We can be friends if you wanna. We can just talk if you wanna. We can all hang. Rocking all the same things. Say you need me, but you really trying to change lanes. Well, I don't even care. In my life, I don't battle with no fear. Fighting dragons always been a real one. I just bought a new way. Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she love me, but it's fresh and never prove it. I never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above. Get the cream on the side. Make you laugh to know it. That's the stuff that I love. La, la, da, da, da. We can be friends if you wanna. We can just talk if you wanna. We can all hang. Rocking all the same things. Say you need me, but you really trying to change lanes. Well, I don't even care. In my life, I don't battle with no fear. Fighting dragons always been a real one.
I just bought a new way. Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she love me, but it's fresh she'll never prove it. I never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I want to do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above. Get the cream on the side. Make you laugh to know it. That's the stuff that I love. La, la, da, da, da. We can be friends if you wanna. We can just talk if you wanna. We can hold hands if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. We can just laugh if you wanna. Rocking all the same things Say you need me but you really trying to change lanes Well, I don't even care In my life I don't battle with no fear Fighting dragons always been a real one And we're back live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel for another fight companion here on the channel. Really appreciate you all of you joining now that we have reached the main card. So I should probably change this up on the screen here. Shout out to everyone who's joined us throughout the prelims. It's been so much fun hanging out with you, watching these fights, some exciting fights. Only two went the distance, and they were exciting fights in their own right. Starting off tonight, Bantamweights, 135ers here. Hunter Starner against Naoki Hirata. Hirata's 3-1 and one professional MMA. Hunter Starner. Uh, Shane, I'm going with Starner, locking it in. We'll highlight the fighters a little bit more if this gets out of the first round between rounds, folks. Sorry, I took a little bit of a longer break. I actually wanted to change up the poll question. Let's get it on! Round one, just beginning. As in the break, I found out that actually the lightweight title is not on the line tonight. Nice head kick by Starner. And followed up by two left hands. Starner coming out strong now, going for the Darst choke. And now Hirata pushing Starner up against the cage. But again, I changed up the poll question. That's why I took a little bit longer in the break. So please vote for the new poll question as a lightweight title will not be on the line here tonight. I'll get right back to your comments here in a sec, folks. Because the challenger missed weight. Shane's picking the guy from Tokyo. Uh, Felino and Rooney in a fight. Nice. I love hockey fights. Uh, Shang Tsung, Kinoshita fighting February 4th. Let's go, Kinoshita. Uh, one of the winners on this year's Contender Series. Hirata looking for that trip takedown. He's not getting it. He's not getting it. Great takedown defense by Starner. I'm only here for the secret juice. I know they're fighting, Shane. I'm watching it. Shane, why are you saying they're fighting? I'm giving commentary. How far behind am I? <laughs> uh, there's a fight in the Boston game. Yeah, that's what you're saying. I love hockey fights. Shout out to Ice Wars. All right, three minutes. I'll have to watch highlights of that fight later, Victoria. I love watching the hockey fights. Ooh, and Starner with a nice leg kick. I wasn't running them down. I didn't run them down. I'm very confused. I said I'd run them down in between the first and second round. If if we even get to that, because we're seeing a lot of finish uh a lot of finishes here on Cage Fury. But uh, hey Shane, I locked in my pick right at right at the right at the bell. Right at the bell. Before I even saw yours, I was going with Starner. And Starner's actually going for the double leg and he gets it. But Hirata, I think, maybe uh, maybe assisted him there in pulling full guard and going for the guillotine. He's not going to get it. It's not that tight. 
And Starner tried to slam his way out of it, but gives up his back in the process, and Hirata now making him pay for that. Is that a half Nelson? Oh my goodness. Hirata has Starner in a half Nelson and was just like laying shots on the side of him. Rangers are destroying the Red Wings 5-2. Thank you for that update. Oh no, this is not looking good for my pick here. Hirata now is the back of Starner, just flatten him out. I'm feeling worse about this pick that I, I took on just like a whim. Because Hirata is just piecing up and flattening out Starner here with sides of the with shots to the side of his head. Um it, I feel sick about the Canucks, dude. Like everybody in Canucks Nation right now. This is the product of your rebuild. Like bleh. anyways. Hirata now in the half guard. One minute left in this first round. Hirata now laying down some elbows. Shane, your pick's looking good, buddy. Hirata, again, has the back. 43 seconds left. Starner has to get out of this round and get Hirata off his back. Keyword should. What's the definition of insanity, though? Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Patterson clearly isn't the guy. Clearly is. I mean, and he's he's great, but like, is the guy to take this team to the next level. JT Miller, we all thought maybe was. Doesn't seem like he is either. And for some reason, that core just cannot mesh and, be, and take that next step, but... It is what it is. Dar's choke now. Dar's choke. And it. Okay, and Starner survives. Starner survives. Blame it. Blame uh, Xfinity, Shane, not me. Same shit over and over. Well, you, you can't afford them. What are you talking about? The Wild cannot afford Pedersen. You guys are so you guys are too scared to even take on Horvat, thinking that he's going to be too expensive. But sure, I mean, if you want him, you can pay for him. It starts with Matt Boldy. Well, I mean, it's, ugh, I don't. I take it up with my landlords, bro. I didn't even know what that shit was till I moved here. Here, Shane, let's see if I can. Okay, round two, folks. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. 6-2 now, Rangers. Wow. All right, start of the second round. We're 20 seconds in. Shane, I'm at four minutes and 28 seconds. Am I still behind you? Fuck. What did you expect? <laughs> and by the way, Pedersen is way better right now than Boldy. Like, and honestly, I would argue that Pedersen is the better player. I mean, look what Pedersen did in his rookie season compared to Boldy. Come on. Well, just overall. But yes, it would have to start there. It'd be Boldy and some, Matt. For an established top center in the National Hockey League? Yeah, maybe not an 80 to 100 point center. 80 to 100 point center, but you know what I mean. Nice high kick by Hirata. All right, then that's a little bit better. Nice one two by Starner. Going for the takedown after that. Good stuff, though, by Hirata. Hirata with the kicks. Yeah, Hirata's looking damn good. Shane, it took you five seconds to reply, so I think we're just actually in the exact time here, and your reply was delayed five seconds. That's what I think. Good takedown defense again by Hirata. Oh, you're serious? Oh, oh, I thought you were being sarcastic with that. Fuck, if it's going to cost me boldy, then I'm out. Dude, what did you think it was going to take? 
Oh, man, I mean, Rossi hasn't proved like that it could just be the that, that the trade could be built around him. It has to be built around someone established, and and with some you know years to develop left. Okay, I was like, what? He's playing. He's playing. <laughs> By the way, I'm just so happy. I mean, I probably could have looked it up too. Matt reminded me. Well, just told me the high V closes at 11, which is awesome. So I can still go get a 7th Avenue pizza before bed. I'm so pumped. Best damn frozen pizza in the world, folks. Nice kick to the body on Hirata by Starner. Two minutes and 19 seconds left in this second round. Nice takedown defense on Hirata by Starner now. No one should help your poverty franchise out of this mess. Yeah, it's it's a mess indeed, the Vancouver Canucks. Thank you, Jim Benning, for assembling such an amazing team. Starner now still defending the takedowns of Hirata. This is like a little bit of striking and then a shooting for takedown battle in this second round, folks. Yeah, Hirata not wanting to give up, and now Starner threatens with a guillotine and some knees for good measure. Starner were looking a lot better in this second round than he did in that first round. Now, mind you, the first round, he, Hirata was really, really threatening him, attacking his back. Blood coming out of the nose of Hirata now. Starner doing a good job of getting those body kicks to land. Goes for a high one there. Good shout to everyone viewing live here on the Say Light Project YouTube channel. Another takedown attempt by Hirata. Total miss. Total defense by Starner. Is Hirata starting to gas here? Maybe. Or Starner just able to read it perfectly. 48 seconds left in this second round. Ah, oh, stop it. Stop it. Besser? Sure. But you guys don't, you don't need any wingers. Right hand by Hirata lands, but he stumbled after there. A little bit of a slip. The Canucks need to change up on defense. So like bringing in Dumba, just a new body. Sure. Like anything can help at this point. As bad as he's been defensively for the Wild this year, I mean, I can't imagine he's much worse than what they've got. Yes, Starner has come back and looked excellent in this second round. It's 1-1 for me going into the third, folks. The Wild needs to shut a contract without bringing one back. Yo, well, then you can't trade with the Canucks, bro. Because uh, they got no prospects in the in the cupboard. And I, I just feel so bad. I mean, I shouldn't feel bad, but like I, I just I want Dumba to succeed. And I feel like a lot of wild fans do. I mean a lot of them really hate him, but and it just sucks. And I followed him since the dub, so holds a special place in my heart. Shane says it's one one two. Starner looked really good in that second round. I know he's my pick, so I'm pumping him up a little bit. But uh, for those watching, what do you think? Uh, Favors going to play out of college. They need to shed one more because they're at the limit, but you have picks. The Canucks barely have picks, dude. They barely have picks. They've traded a bunch of their picks already, and they're going to have to trade more to shed. It's the, no, the Canucks don't have picks, and they don't have prospects. Their cupboards are bare. They have nothing. They have nothing. The Canucks have to trade for picks, dude. And Faber is going to be with the Wild before playoffs. Let's get it all! Four minutes and 45 seconds. Sorry, folks. Five seconds. Now 10 seconds into this third and final round. Hirata tried to go for the takedown, stuffed again, and now gives up his bat or gives up top position. Starner now was going to maybe settle in the garden, lay down some strikes, but he doesn't invites Hirata back up to his feet. Going to be interesting seeing the reaction to Izzy's Kaino tomorrow. He already seems to be mentally affected by this fight. <laughs> uh, I don't think, I, I wouldn't say so. 
I've been watching his YouTube channel and stuff too. He seems just as just as Israel Adesonia as any Izzy fight. I'm not I'm not a huge Izzy fan by any means. I'm I'm kind of indifferent to be perfectly honest. I respect what he's doing with that division, but unlike Anderson Silva, the division's a little bit more watered down than it used to be when Anderson Silva was dominating it. I do too love Dumba. Uh, Eichel scores against his former team, by the way. S- scored as a knight in Buffalo. I'm sure he's getting booed like crazy. What the fuck have the Canucks been doing? Fuck Jim Benning. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Matt. That's what I've been saying. Shout out to everyone joining us live here. Hirata now abandoning the takedown, and it looks like it's just going to be a scrap. Sorry if my connection's going in and out, folks. I don't know why that's happening, but... Uh... It should be fixed here in a second. Yeah, Harada realizing, just like John Morgan said in the broadcast, he's going to have to get this done on the feet. But is it lo- too little too late as a nice right hook lands on Hirata by Starner? Yes, he's getting a lot of booze tonight. If you want a better look at uh, the stats here too and just their profile. There it is. Oh, man, we've had flawless connection all night and now starting to fade a little bit. My apologies, folks. We're going to get, we're going to, we're on top of this right now. Uh, like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes, folks. It's common driven live stream, so join the conversation as well. Two minutes and 30 seconds left in this third round. Some kicks exchanged. Started moving forward. One, two. Shout out to everyone viewing again. We do a minimum of two live streams a week, two fight companions a week. This weekend, though, it's it's loaded up. I mean, Saturday, Cage Wars and UFC back-to-back. Absolutely love the interaction with you folks. We do giveaways on every stream. So like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. Starner. Clinching up, pushing Hirata up against the cage. I want Dumba to get it figured out somewhere, but I don't think it's here because the fans have turned on him. Yep. Hirata pulls guard now. Interesting to go for that guillotine again. Control the net, but he doesn't he doesn't get it. Starner now in top position. There's one minute and twenty-two seconds left to work here. If Starner just wants to do some work from the guard. Harada still has the neck. My apologies. Sit ups. Sit ups is the corner of a, a starter. That's exactly what I was saying too. Harada still threatening the neck, and Starner's not. I can hear the corner. Stand up, stand up. That's what I'm thinking too, dude. Why are you just letting this guy hold your neck here with 55 seconds left? Ah, oh, come on, do something, starter. Okay, he's, now he's trying to work the leg here. Because I feel like if, if you're just in this, if someone's holding your neck here, you're, you're not winning dominant position here. You're not winning any points on the judges' scorecards. Now, if you can do anything in 35 seconds in this top position, then you're going to gain some points. If you're just going to stay there in a neck choke, that just seems lazy. And I know it's the end of the third round. Who am I? Who am I to say? They're tired. This, is a, this has been a hell of a fight. But come on, man. Who wants it more? And right now, it looks like Hirata does. To be perfectly honest, it looks like Hirata wants it more right now. And Irata gets the takedown. There it is. There it is. 7-2 Rangers. Wow, what a what a dominant performance by them against the Detroit Red Wings. Wow. And there we go. We're gonna finish it! And it's all over! Okay, fun fight to open up this card, folks. Starner looking a little frustrated there. Yeah. He's a little cut too. This is a this is a close one. This is a close one. I think I think Hirata, I think Hirata is going to win this one just because I think he did a little bit more, and 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 I, and I mean in all areas as far as takedowns, as far as the strikings, there were stretches where Hirata was dominating. Like in the first round, there were stretches where Starner looked really good. Like in the second round, then that third one was kind of back and forth there. And I apologize, my uh. 
quality of your connection goes in and out, folks. We've addressed it. It's been perfect up until now, so my apologies. Everything on my end is good, but uh, I just keep getting notifications like, oh, you're... On the, on the program I use, it tells you when like your connection fades a little bit, so I just wanted to uh, make sure... Just tell you guys that we're on top of it here as well. Yes, Leo! Leo the Dawn. <laughs> Remember, I had Hirata first main card. Let's see... How do you see it? Uh, Leo the Dawn. I think Hirata wins it too. I uh, I picked... I picked his opponent as my official pick uh, to go up against Shane in my bet. Um, but no, I think Hirata did enough. I think he edged him out just... I think he just did a little bit more in every area. I think they're pretty much back and forth, even in, you know, grappling this and, and you know, striking takedowns or whatever. But I think Hirata just did a little bit more. No way. Starter wins. Unanimous decision. Hirata, you can see the, the disappointment on his face because he had such a dominant first round. Yeah, I would say he gave up the second 100%, but that third one, I thought maybe he did enough volume on the striking, the late takedowns. Wow. Wow. I mean, I wouldn't say it's a robbery, Shane, because it was a close fight. You can never call a close fight a, ro a robbery. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that third round went to, went to Starner. Shane's doing the... Pineapple jalapeno beer from Dead Rock. It's, it's a goze. Do you like it, Shane? Do you like it? A lot of high-scoring games tonight in the NHL. 8-2 now. Wow. For the Rangers against the Detroit Red Wings. Shout out to everyone joining us live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. Like the video. Drop a comment in the live chat, much like Victoria, for a chance to win some prizes. Andrew B is in the chat, too. What's up, Andrew B? Victoria and Andrew both in the chat. Bruh, says Leo. I'm... Leo, again, I picked Starner. I picked Starner, you know, up against Shane. So I guess, Shane, yeah, I won that one. But I was I was surprised, too. I was surprised, too. Uh, Victoria saying hey to Andrew as well. I go Selly after scoring a Buffalo is perfect. I'll have to check it out after. It's okay. It's okay. And Andrew saying hey to Victoria as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, my voice is starting to fade a little bit, folks. But hey, we have four more fights left on the card. I think it will last. I think it will last. Okay, we should have Mark Gray versus uh, Raymond Ramos here next. Just going to get the ticker up on the screen here. Might be a little behind you guys too. Is my stream lag just a bit here? Uh, did it freeze also in your fight pass? Uh, Shane, let me know. Mine froze for like 10, 20 seconds. So we'll see. Oh, it's freezing again. We'll see if it works here in a sec. All right, Mark uh, Gray against Raymond Ramos, I believe, is the next fight <laughs> on the docket here. They're making their walkout right now. Uh, Andrew's asking Shane, uh, he's doing too. Uh, Isha, how are you doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm getting, I was sick all last week, but um, feeling better now. Feeling better now. Excited to be hanging out with all you folks here, watching some fights. Uh, first stream of the week, and uh, yeah, man, it's just I'm just happy to see you here, Andrea, as well as Victoria. Okay, I might have to. There we go. Okay, I just refreshed it, Shane. We all good. We all good. Raymond Ramos making his walkout right now. Uh, Shane saying he's good to. I love everyone in the chats just talking to amongst each other. Andrew, Victoria, Shane, and Andrew. 
Um, Andrew, how are you this week, buddy? How are you this week? Uh, Raymond Ramos walking up to Fallout Boy. That's a little interesting. N no judgment. I'm just you. You don't see that every day. Okay, Mark Gray. Let's take a look at him. 29 years old, two and O professional MMA record. Both of those wins came via Cage Fury. And then he went 4-0 and on the amateur. So a prospect here, potentially for the UFC or a higher fight promotion. Looking at his opponent, who is oof, on a four-fight losing streak. That's not good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Raymond Ramos, 33 years old. 135 pounders here, by the way, folks. Uh, he's fought in Titan FC fight time promotions where he's gone two and two in fight time. He's gone two and one in Titan FC. However, on a four fight win streak, combat to global combat, global Legion and Titan FC. Even on amateur, he was one and three. So Raymond Ramos, since start, I mean, he started out his career. I, mean, I don't even know why I keep highlighting him. He won his first UFC or UFC, he won his first MMA professional fight, lost to one, one lost one, three in a row. And now he's lost four in a row. Raymond Ramos. Uh, I'm going with Mark gray. Lock it in. It's 29. Um, he is not on a four fight losing streak. He's actually on a five fight winning streak. If you take his amateur, fights into account so that's it locking it in ramos vasco what's going on my man what's going on vasco thank you so much for joining i appreciate it buddy thank you for streaming oh thank you buddy and by the way for those uh if you want to do me a favor i know i i love just having you here and that's all i really like i said i'm i'm never gonna ask for donations all i ask is that you like the video drop a comment in the live chat hang out with us here but i will ask for one other thing here tonight if you dug these fights, comment Cage Fury or love the Cage Fury fights on the video after it's posted. Not in the live chat. I mean, you can if you want to as well. But after the video is posted, that would, that would just help out a lot. And it shows me, it shows Kyle, it shows YouTube that you dig these streams. Andrew Tate versus Jake Paul could happen. Kind of hype. Hope it's kickboxing so Top G has a better chance. Jake Paul is good at boxing. I, I think, honestly, Tate could just probably... Beat him at boxing, too. But yeah, I saw their face-off. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that your arm still hurts, Victoria. I hope it feels better tomorrow and this weekend. Ramos. That's the pick that Matt's locking in. Shane's going with Mark Gray, too. Vasco going with the guy who has the winning streak, four-fight losing... It's bad, man. But he's experienced. That not that's not easy. But yeah, Vasco couldn't have said it better myself. Wait, Chandler Poirier is this card? Yeah, man. Pay per view. Seven two Canes final. Let's go, Carolina Hurricanes. Love that young team. Even if, uh, yeah, I mean, I love that young team. Let's freaking go. <coughs> All right, folks. Second fight on the main card. Let's Mark Gray looking to stay undefeated. Let's go. We can bet on multiple fights. There, look at yeah, look at the card. There's there's a there's a bunch of good ones, Matt, that we could bet some pizzas on. Eight two Red Wings final. Hell yeah, man! Cage Warriors in the morning, UFC in the evening. I want to bet on multiple. Ayo. Mark Gray with a beautiful takedown. Uh, good roll, though, by Ramos. Ramos tried to do something with the left arm of Gray. They're back up to their feet. Shout out to everyone watching, by the way. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. Love having the regulars here. We're building such a great fight community here on the Say Light Project YouTube channel. Oh, and now Ramos lands some decent shots. Yes, please do.
Man, the pace looks just incredible right now. Getting 140 or 135ers here. Great, trying to take this to the ground again. Ramos saying he wanted to come in here and play spoilers. He lands a good straight left, followed by a couple just haymaker hooks there. Nice straight right by Ramos. Oh, and a nice knee. Gray kind of showed his cards on the takedown entry, and Ramos got him with a knee as Gray got the takedown. So Gray got the takedown, but Ramos kicked him with the knee. Now Gray gets the back of Ramos. Ramos trying to get back up to his feet. Ramos does get back up to his feet. Gray still with the body lock on his back. I'll give everyone a shout out to who's commented in this stream before it ends if we don't hit our our, uh, our goal of 50 likes and we don't give away a prize, by the way. Devil's Game's going to OT 3-3 at the end of the third. Nice. Oh, because the Devils have been rebuilding for a few years and I've been calling that shit. They're going to be just as good. They're, they're going to be one of the better teams in the league in two years. Watch. Sveshnikov got a Hattie. Nice. He's awesome. Yeah, dude, I've, I've, New Jersey's been good for... We're not been good, but they've been putting the pieces together for a few years now, I think. Since the Subban Hall, Taylor Hall experiments where they're like, oh, maybe we're a playoff team? And they're like, oh, no, no, we just got to rebuild. Uh, I mean, what is properly, right? Gray with a single takedown and gets it. It was unique because they kind of did it on the... I, again, I don't even know what a proper rebuild is, is anymore because the New York Rangers, they did it in two years. It's taking the Canucks now. I know it's going to be like 20. Um, like, what is a proper rebuild? That's, that's the real question. So, no, I don't think it was a proper rebuild, but it's worked. Well, again, like it was random though. They like were rebuilding and then the Taylor Hall thing happened. They make the playoffs and they had a chance to get Subban. They did okay. It's like... They, they didn't really commit until two or three years ago, but credit to them. Since committing, oh, Gray with another beautiful takedown on Ramos with a double leg. Goes right into side control. Since they've committed the last two to three years, Matthew, I think that they've done everything properly. But before then, I think it was kind of... They, they didn't know. They didn't, they didn't want to fully commit yet. And I think that's where Jim Benning for the Vancouver Canucks really failed. Because he never committed to anything. He always wanted to be competitive. But uh, yeah, man, New Jersey... They're going to be a fun team to watch. They already are a fun team to watch. Half guard now for Gray. 56 seconds left. Hey, credit to Ramos for throwing some good strikes on Gray early in this first round. But for the most part, I got to give this one to Gray for the beautiful takedowns and just control time. It's funny, Benning has a Stanley Cup ring because he was the assistant general manager in Boston when they beat the Canucks, ironically enough, Matthew. I don't know if you knew that. Exactly that. Exactly that. Well, and even some of their other later round picks too have panned out as far as people are excited and happy for them to come up from Albany and others, you know, Doing well in the National Hockey League now as well. Ramos doing a decent job of mitigating damage here, but it's been all gray when it hits the map. End of round one, folks. Um, Mark Gray. Does anybody else? Oh, my God. The... The broadcast is saying that maybe Ramos won that round because he did more damage in that he landed more strikes. Sure, that's fine. But when you're dominating, dominating on the powerful takedowns and you have the control time, again, there's an argument to be made because Gray didn't do, didn't do, employ a lot of striking from top position when he was on the ground. I don't know. I, I think Mark Gray won that first round, but if you want to just go by <laughs> striking is, is that much more in the in the judging, then maybe Ramos has a has a chance, or maybe it was a, a, a draw. I don't know. Thank you very much. 
I no, I don't think that's it, Shane. I really, I know there's a lot of words that are a little bit different, like the OURs and things like that, but I don't think it's. I mean, EY is is the color. What's happening so far in this fight, Andrew? Uh, Mark Gray has been winning in the wrestling. He's, I think he got like four takedowns in the first round. Hasn't done much with them as far as laying down the striking, though. Ramos looking better on the feet. Flames final 3-1 for the Bruins. Oh, that makes me sad. That makes me sad. Emotional damage. And Gray gets the takedown again. Trying to pass the guard of Ramos. Is it you guys spell it with an A? That's disgusting. That's gross. Well, Shane, you were right then. I'm wrong. Shane's usually right. I don't know why. I try to argue with Shane. Shane's one of those who doesn't come with an argument unless he knows he's going to win. And Shane's been winning, beating me at basketball, video games, bets my whole life, folks. So that's disgusting. That's disgusting. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. I can live with some of the like the others in the o in the oars and things like that. Gray now fighting for the back of Ramos. Uh Flames seven game losing streak and Boston winning streak to eight. That's wow, that's insane. Yeah, go Shane. Go Shane. <laughs> go Shane. Hey, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. <clears throat> Full mount now for Gray. Did a good job of getting that position. Now he has to lay down the striking because Gray honestly hasn't laid down any striking in top position here. He has to lay down some striking. Good job by Ramos for moving. Gray, if you have full mount. This is what's crazy. And now Ramos gives up his back. Gray trying to flatten him out here a little bit with some of the strikes. Ramos turning over again now. I mean, Ramos is Ramos is looking like the veteran here. He's, he's doing everything right in defending. Gray has to impose his will. There we go. There's, there's an elbow. Like, don't you want to finish this, Gray? Come on now. Yeah, that's what Victoria's been saying. Mark Gray has to lay down some more strikes from the top position here. There you go. It's a good just um, forearm strike. And I mean, credit where credit is due. Ramos is he's tossing and turning here, folks, trying to get out of this. There we go. Gray grabbing the arms of Ramos and now trying to get some strikes. But Ramos twists again. One minute, 32 seconds left in this second round. One minute, 23 seconds, still in the full mount. It's either full mount or back. I mean, Ramos has is not getting out of this. And Gray is starting to lay down some hammer fists now. Mark Gray now. Now he's getting some striking down. This is what you want to see in the full mount here. Brock favor of the goal for the Bruins tonight. How weird. <laughs> Gray, 50 seconds left. Yeah, Gray, 39 seconds. Gray just has to keep going, man. Gray has to keep going. Official watching close. Is Ramos going to get out of this round? It looks like he might. North South. Side control. 15 seconds left, trying to get his back. Ramos back to his feet. 10 seconds left in the second round, and woo. 
Gray, absolute domination in this one. Obviously would have liked to see Gray finish it there, but absolute domination. Cannot, cannot critique him any more than that. Other than I wanted to see him just go for the proverbial kill. You know what I mean? Hey, but credit to him. Credit to him. Domily won that round. If he And if he can employ that game plan again in this third round, pff, this fight is his. This fight is his. He might even finish it. Oh, Shane. It's comments like this, which is why uh, everyone says go, Shane. Gray wins. No gray area here. Oh, my God. Yeah, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Comment of the night thus far? I think so. I think so. Again, shout out to everyone viewing. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. We had 50 likes on the video and or, so there's two opportunities, 1,300 subscribers, we will give away some prizes to a lucky person who commented in the live chat. Eichel with the Hattie for Vegas. Night. Where's Jacob Love's THPN? Usually he, he's in here just going, going ham. Let's get it all! All right, folks, round three. Yeah, Ramos is really going to have to do something early, like the broadcast said. Because he knows Gray is going to take this back down to the ground to get some striking in. And there we go. Gray just plows through. I mean, Shane, we might be seeing this Gray kid on, uh, on Contender Series soon. Gray now gets the back of Ramos. Gray now kind of side mounted on Ramos, just throwing strikes to the side of his head. This pace. And this is the ground and pound that I wanted to see in the second round, in the majority of the second round, not just the end. Now in the half guard. And now back into the full mount. Gray easily gets back into the full mount. Devils also in, and I'm out of here. Thank you so much, Victoria. I appreciate you hanging out with us and giving me these highlights. You're an absolute beauty. Thank you so much. And that's it, folks. Victoria's out of here, and this fight is over. Gray wins this one. He finishes from the mount position. The ref has to call it. He's unbeaten still as a pro going, what is he now, 3-0? and And his fight and his win streak continues. And that's another win for Isha. Well, I guess Shane and I both picked him, but still. Let's freaking go. Hey, Ramos, he's a tough guy. He's a tough guy, and he looked really good in that first round. But, man, Gray, like... His takedowns are just with ease, with ease, folks. Unbelievable. Three more fights left on this card, folks. And apparently we have a super heavyweight fight next. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, 265. Okay, I was like... I read somewhere that we might see a super heavyweight. I didn't know if we, I didn't know Cage Fury had super heavyweights. But the the only heavyweight fight on this card is next year, folks. And we'll profile both of the fighters here in just a moment. Bum, ba, da, bum. I believe this is the next one. My, you know, barring a about order change. Mark the Hunter Gray. All right, we'll highlight the, the next two fighters here in just a moment, folks. Oh, what's up? ER is back. Uh, when's the next contender series start? Well, it's it's every in the summer. 
they just they do one a year, not two. I wish they did two. Uh Tarple about to smash. Am I pronouncing his name correctly? Tarple? Yeah, let me know. ER, you know a lot about both of these guys. I'm very unfamiliar with the heavyweights on this uh card. Five fight losing streak now. Dang, hope he comes back. Yeah, not looking too good for Ramos. All right, just going to update the little ticker here, and we'll get right back to it. Uh, Willie Tarplay against Yima's Wildman. All right. We got a lightweight main event. It's not going to be a title fight because the challenger missed weight, but we do have the vacant flyweight title on the line, Paiva versus Takahashi. And that is coming up in a little bit here as we go to the heavyweights here, folks. The heavyweights. I mean, you want to see fights end early. Usually you get to see them in the heavyweight bouts. Again, ER. Oh my goodness, look at these guys walk out. This is amazing. Okay, so it is a, a super heavyweight. So instead of dropping to 265, they what? Over 270, both these guys? Came back to hear the Tarplay fight because I don't have fight pass. And I don't know much about their background, but Tarplay works with my cousin, so rooting for him. Lol. All right. Well, ER, I'm glad you mentioned that. I'll give you a little bit more focused play-by-play -play then for this one rather than just shooting the breeze, you know, talking whatever um, throughout these fights. Um, appreciate you, ER. Appreciate you. And you know what? You know what? We'll highlight both of them here, but I think you just won me over. I think that's going to have to be my pick. But uh, let's highlight the fighters here. William Tarplay out of Florida, Tampa, Florida. 36 years old. Willie Tarplay is 3-2 and two in pro MMA. He's currently riding a two-fight win streak, one of which being in CFFC, one of which being in WCFL. He's been in CFFC before. He's fought in Global Legion as well as RFC. No fights on the amateur scene. His opponent... Yimaz Wildman, four and two pro MMA record, coming off a loss in C or in rough forty seven. He's fought in rough forty six. He's fought in on LFA. And he's fought in Show Fight Savage. So making a CFFC debut is Yimaz Wildman. And again, one uh, one fight in LFA where he lost. Again, Willie Tar uh, Tarplay against Yimaz Wildman. I'm going with Tarplay. I'm going with Tarplay because... I'm going with Tarplay because... Oh, look at that. I know he's a uh, blue belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu too. Uh, ER says he works with his cousin, so there you go. Miguel, what's going on, Miguel? Uh, Ken Gagnon in the gray fight. Gray one. Gray one in that one. And it was an absolute dominant performance. Uh, Ramos looked good in the first round. Ramos was piecing him up a little bit um, with some strikes. But as soon as as soon as Gray could get his takedown game going, uh, Miguel, <coughs> excuse me, he absolutely dominated. Uh, Miguel, thank you so much for joining. I appreciate it. Again, ER, by the way, everyone show some love for ER. One of the newest, he, he subscribed today. ER... I shouldn't assume ER he I, I just I, I assume that you're he ER, but you could be a she as well. Uh hell in these days you could be a fucking they. And that's okay. Look at that it rhymes too. Uh everyone show ER some love. Our newest uh community member, our newest subscriber here on the channel. Bro got a loincloth as fight shorts, primal as fuck. Wait, was there a change here? Oh no, we're good, we're good. Shane's going Yimaz. I'm going, yeah, I'm going, I uh, already said it. 
I can't. I haven't watched a super heavyweight fight in a long time. So usually heavyweights, uh, two sixty five is the limit, and anything above is super heavyweight. These guys are like, you know what? Fuck cutting weight. It's the same guy, Shane. Um, it's the same guy. I think, anyways. Could have been a change on the card, but we're going with it. <coughs> Round one in this heavyweight bout. Let's get it on. And some nice stiff punches right off the bat. By Tarpley. Tarpley with the inside low kick. They clinch up here. And a nice elbow by Tarpley on Butler. Wild man Butler. Shane, I think his real last name is Butler. I think Tapology puts, you know, his nickname, which is Wild Man. I don't think that's his legal last name. But hey, I mean, I'm new to Cage Fury. I don't know for sure. And Butler now looking to maybe take this to the ground. Butler looking for a takedown on tar play. Are you kidding me? Doesn't get it. Yeah, there you go. This is Yemaz wild man Butler. I mean, look at that with the loincloth on oh, a nice straight right by tar play. That seemed to hurt Butler and his mouthpiece fell out. Yeah, look at this guy. He's straight up Tarzan in there. Or oh, a nice straight left jab. Butler eats by Tarpley. Ooh, Tarpley swung with the left hook. Lands a body shot. Yo, Tarpley's looking damn good in this super heavyweight fight. Tarpley, super aggressive right now, walking Butler back. He's got to be careful in this clinch as Butler did land, land a, a right hook. Butler's out of it, but and now they're both just exchanging blows here, folks. Huge, huge men going out of here, folks. Over 260 pounds apiece. Butler weighing in at 270. Now just some battling in the clinch here. And Butler looking for the takedown, and he gets it. Now you have a 270-pound man in your guard. But hey, like ER said, Tarplay, blue belt in jiu-jitsu. He does have a jiu-jitsu game. I can't imagine Butler has a jiu-jitsu game. And Tarplay knocks out Butler's mouthpiece from the bottom with hammer fists. And he not, I believe, what did uh, Morgan said? It just flew out of the cage. Two minutes left in this first round. The 271-pound butler on top of Tarplay here. And Butler now raining down shots from the top position, still working in the full guard of Tarplay. Tarplay's close guard. Not taking too much damage here, but I imagine supporting, you know, the weight of a man that big can't be easy. It's still taxing on your cardio. Well, shout out to John Morgan and CM Punk on the broadcast here tonight doing a really good job. John Morgan's an absolute beauty. And I know Peanuts left us earlier, but shout out to him. Came in hot with the super sticker. Absolutely love it. Thank you so much, Peanuts. Butler, clear cage grab there, but that's okay. Top position still. And Tarplay pushes him off, and he's out of the guard. 
and Tarple back up to his feet. Wow, that was incredible. That was incredible right there. That's that jujitsu. That's that experience. Found an opening. Pushed Butler off him. He pushed a 270-pound man off him and got back up to his feet. That was incredible stuff right there by Tarple. 25 seconds left in this first round. Now they're just trading punches and a good job by Butler with some elbows and punches separating from the clinch and he goes right back and clinches up. I mean, Tarple, he had some time. He had a moment early in this first round where he seemingly looked like he was smelling blood and was able, it was looking to finish the fight, even just with punches on the feet, pushing Butler back. Hey, but since then, Butler's employed a good game plan, get on top position. Let's see you gasses first. These are big boys. Yeah, both of these guys, they have a minute to take some deep breaths, regain their cardio. Super heavyweights here. And then we have three more fights on the card, ladies and gentlemen, after that. Wow. These guys, I'm just watching some of the, the replays and highlights. What's the over under and mouth guards falling out in this in this fight or on the rest of the card, Shane? Um, because so far, I mean, this card it's been quite a bit, to be perfectly honest. There's just a couple guys who just don't bite down on their mouth guard; they just kind of fight with their mouth open. You said it, Shane, and I'll take the over. <laughs> so what is it now? Two. And the mouthpiece fell out of the cage. No, the mouthpiece came out three times. Round two. Let's get it all! Okay, Shane, let's say four. Let's say four. And I'll take the over. They're going at it right away, folks. Back and forth. A flying knee attempt by Tarplane. It lands. Tarpley with a high kick. Tarpley with a few body shots here. Back in the clinch. Butler leaning into Tarpley on the clinch. I hope he just doesn't do this the rest of the fight. Or I hope the ref, you know, realizes, okay, can't do this. Oh, and great job by Butler with the trip takedown. And now he has the back of Tarpley. This is a great position from Butler. He has one hook in with his leg. Hey, credit to Butler, man. He's a mixed martial artist. He's not just a heavyweight, uh, a, a, you know, gunslinger here. Butler's got both hooks in the back of Tarplay. Tarplay now is a 270-pound man on his back. Tarplay's got to move or the ref's going to end this. I know he's not doing too much damage, but I mean, like... Okay. Shots of start. Okay. Right. Right hand of, Bar of Butler. That's where he's punching. I mean, these are very, very soft punches. I take that back. The ref's not going to end this. Dude, I heard. I heard. And I was like, where's Jacob? Where's Jacob? Top 10 in points made with the Hattie. Hell yeah. Always going to root for Jack. I think. Especially everything you went through the last few years. Out of boy. Out of boy. Tarplay is still on bottom position. And I don't blame him. Now he's flattened out here. He's got a monster of a man on top of him. And now the strikes are a little bit heavier here. And the ref ends it. It's all over! And look, the shots weren't anything crazy. But the fact that I don't think Tarplay was going to get out of it. He, you know. Butler. Was just going to keep on swinging, and you might as well save that brain from any unnecessary damage, even if they're not the strongest of shots. Wow. You know what? I didn't give this guy enough credit. Missing weight, making this a super heavyweight fight. Um, was I don't want to say almost finished, but was in danger early by tar play. I mean, he employed a great game plan. He didn't just rely on standing up, you know, Derek Lewis style. He was like, I am going to employ mixed martial arts here. And he uses weight to his advantage. Yim is wild, man, with a with a great finish here. Hey, you know what, though, ER? 
shout out, shout out to your boy because he did a great job as well. I've never said Ico wasn't good. That's slander. You know that. Jacob, I remember that conversation. I remember that conversation. I, I was, yes, I was very critical of your goalies. I'll, I'll eat crow on that at the end of the season if, you know, the Vegas Gold Knights even make the playoffs. Um, <laughs> I have never said that Ico was a, was a bad player or that he wasn't good. I've never said that. Listen to my podcast. I mean, I, can even, I'll, I could even go back and find the receipts in our live chat. dude. I've never said that. I've had nothing but the utmost respect for Jack Eichel. Um, so, uh, yeah, don't fucking slander me. You can troll me, but don't you dare fucking slander me, man. I will take none of that, especially in the hockey realm. Don't make me out to look like a fucking idiot. Okay. I might be a little, I said, I'll eat crow on, uh, on the, what did I say? On the goalies. Again, you said Eichel wasn't going to score 70 goals. That alone is saying he's bad. Wholeheartedly disagree, but okay. Okay. <laughs> Wild man wins this one in his wild man suit. So if a player doesn't get 70 goals, that means they're bad. Is that the new, is that the new, uh, like bar for the national hockey league? Jacob. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a millennial. I'm not a gen a gen Z. You guys have the trends that, that switch every day. You got to tell me, is that the new framework? Is that the new blueprint? If you don't score 70 goals in the national hockey league, are you a bad player? Yep. Okay, well, then the rest of Vegas sucks, man. Absolute dog shit, if that's the case. I'm just saying, you said it, not me, right? You said they were all bad, not me. You want to play this game, Jacob? I'll play this game. Jacob loves THPN. Everyone says everybody on the Vegas Golden Knights team, except for Jack Eichel, is bad. But at least you got one good player on the team. <laughs> I love you, buddy. Thank you so much for joining. All right, one more fight here in, on the main card before we get into the co-main event and main event here. We were going to see two title fights, but the lightweight championship is no longer a championship fight. The belt is no longer up for grabs as Kenley St. Louis missed weight. Unless your name is Jack, I go scoring 70, 70 goals is dog shit. <laughs> Jack, I go, baby. For MVP. Let's go. So glad he's not rotting away in Buffalo anymore. Which, by the way, it just it needed to happen. Now that... Uh, well, I know that they just pwned Buffalo there. But since he's left and Buffalo started to reshape their culture a little bit, and Jack Eagle's dominating in, in Vegas. So there you go. And, I mean, credit to Vegas. They just dominated Buffalo. And uh, Jack Eagle, I hope, shut up all those people who are booing him in, in Buffalo. Eichel owns Buffalo. No, he does. He does indeed. All right, I'll update this on the screen here. Here we go. All right, you got a welterweight fight up next here, folks. I'm going to take a quick break. Quick break here. On the other side, we'll highlight this next fight on the main card. I want to hear your predictions. Jacob, again, you're an absolute beauty. Thank you so much for joining Jacob, ER, Shane, Aaron, Miguel, Zoomer, Loyalist, Victoria, Matthew, Andrew B. I'm gonna give you I'll give you all shout outs right now. Ba -ba -da -ba. Vasco, of course. Leo the Dawn. Peanuts. Um, who'd I miss? I had to buy you, of course. I had to buy you. Brian said, hey, Kenneth was here. Uh, and Sharuka, our newest, uh, one of our newest subscribers. Every 30 seconds, I heard boo from the Buffalo fans booing your own, or L for the Buffalo fans booing your own team. <laughs> All right, folks, on the other side, we'll be back to continue to provide play by play, live commentary reaction and interaction with all you folks here live on the channel don't forget to drop a like on the video and a comment in the comment section for a chance to win some prizes if we hit 50 likes on the video we'll choose a winner from the live chat and we'll send you some merchandise as well as if we get to 1300 subscribers here on the channel we will also give away a prize don't go anywhere we will be right back here live on the city life project youtube channel
I just bought a new way. Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she love me, but it's fresh and never prove it. I never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above, get the cream on the side, make you laugh to know it. That's the stuff that I love, la, la, da, da, da. We can be friends if you wanna. We can just talk if you wanna. We can all hands if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. We can just laugh if you wanna. Late nights on the stars if you wanna. We can just kiss if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. It's like the story of my life. Best friends, but we rocking all the same things. Say you need me, but you really trying to change lanes. Well, I don't even care. In my life, I don't battle with no fear. Fighting dragons always been a real one. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the City Life Project YouTube channel for another MMA fight companion here, Cage Fury 114. And we are knee deep in the event, ladies and gentlemen. If you're new to the channel, if you're just if you're just passing by, if you're just scrolling through YouTube, what is up? Welcome. Live play-by-play, -play, live commentary, live reaction, of course, live interaction with all you amazing folks who join us each and every week. This is the first of many live streams we're doing this weekend as well, so I'm really excited to have you folks joining as we begin this MMA weekend and a heavy MMA stream schedule on, on this channel with you here tonight. All right, let's highlight the fighters quickly here as they're being announced in the Octagon. We got Hugh Pulley, the Wolverine. He's yet to win in Cage Fury FC, but he has an 8-5 and five pro MMA record. He has one win in Bellator. He has one win in LFA. But he does not have a win yet in CFFC. Perfect record on the amateur scene going 6-0. and oh. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> He's also 33 years, th 33 years old. His opponent, the Blue King, Robert Hale. 12-6 pro MMA record. 
fought in LFA where he won, fought in PFL where he lost. One last in B2 fighting series. He's fought a lot in B2 and other random promotions, uh, making a CFFC debut. Shane, I am going with the Wolverine Hugh Pulley. Let me know your predictions in the live chat as well, and uh, vote in the poll question if you haven't already. Uh, what happened to Matt? I, I don't know. I have no idea, Mike Jones. I thought it was going to be on the prelims. It, it I thought then maybe it was going to be pushed to the main event or the main card. Let's get it Round on. one, folks. But uh, apparently it was canceled and was canceled. Usually we know prior and why. Tapology didn't even have any notes on it. So I'll get to the bottom of it, Mike Jones. But thank you so much for joining. All right, pulling in the red tape. Hail in the blue. The blue king in the blue corner here tonight. Again, Mike Jones, I don't know what happened. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to get to the bottom of it. And if you're still here when I do, then uh, then we'll both. We'll both find out. I'm going to check Twitter, and I'm sure Kaposis has, if I ask him on Twitter, he'll have something to say about it too. But, Anyways, back to this fight, though. Oh, Mike Jones, glad to be here. I'm glad that you're here too, brother. Thank you so much for commenting. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. You got Pulley in a parlay. Fingers crossed. Let's go, buddy. Shane's picking Robert Hale, so this is good. My buddy Shane's in the chat here. Mike Jones and we always go head to head on beer bets every every fight card. So it's been a it's been a competitive one between Shane and I here tonight. Beautiful double left jab combo followed by an outside low kick by Hale. Nice left strike by Hale again, left jab there. He does, doesn't he, Mike Jones? His legs look pretty damn big, too. He's got some power in those strikes. 170 pounders here, folks, And uh, if you haven't seen on the bottom of the screen. And by the way, Mike, uh, we do live streams a ton every week as well, so I hope to see you on more of them, buddy. We're doing Cage Warriors. And you've seen, oh, my goodness. Pulley with a 1-2, and that seemed to push Hale back just for a moment. But yeah, we're doing Cage Warriors and UFC all day Saturday. We might do shoot a Brazil tomorrow. That one's a moving target, but definitely Cage Warriors and UFC. Hale does a good job of coming back with his own one-two there. The exact same, exact same combo that Pulley landed on him. And shout out to Mike Jones, Shane, Jacob loves THPN, ER, Zoomer Loyalist. I mean, everyone who's joined us here tonight. Of course, Peanuts, who came in hot with the super sticker right off the bat. Absolute beauty. It was the 100. The 100 super sticker. Thank you so much, Peanuts. Two minutes and 18 seconds left in the first round, and so far, Hale's getting the better pulley. Both finding a rhythm and range still, but Hale seems to have found it and is locking into it. Pulley's had some good moments. Hale still seems to be in a little bit of control here, and pulley went for a takedown, and Hale just stuffed it easily. Definitely look forward to the next stream. These cars don't get the exposure they deserve. 100%. And that's what we're trying to do on this channel, man. Like, yeah, we'll cover UFC and, of course, Bellator, PFL and stuff. But, like, the Cage Warriors, um, the Aries FCs, you know? I mean, I got to scroll through. Like, all any and all smaller promotions that I can squeeze in to do, I will 100% do them. And I'm really falling in love with Cage Fury FC. Aries, Cage Fury, Cage Warriors. Those are some of my favorites. How we did BKFC as well last week. Mike Jones, thank you so much, buddy. I I I'm I appreciate it. I'm glad you you I'm glad you're glad to be here. And I'm glad that you look forward to the next streams, buddy. Yeah, that's your beautiful than a motherfucker. One minute left in this first round. Yeah, and it's all hail here, folks. Not too too much action here, but Hale's seem uh, seemingly has found his timing and range. Pushing Pulley into the corner. He lands a, Hale lands a beautiful left hook. That one seemed to hurt Pulley a little bit. And now Hale's going for the kill. Uppercut. Right. Couple right shots. Uppercut. 
some knees. Pulley defended a few of them, but he was imposing his will there. Come on, Pulley. Don't let him bully us, son. Hal, sorry. I keep saying hail. <laughs> By the English language, as per English, it should be hail, but it's how. Yeah, just straight up kickboxing here in this first round. Good display of respect by the fighters. They give each other a little glove tap there. And we're, we're about to get into the second round here in a minute's time, folks. I mean, Hal won that one pretty clearly. There was a nice one-two. There was a, there was a nice one-two that Pulley landed. But other than that, it, it was all hail. And at one point, he was like threatening, not necessarily to finish it, but to at least drop his opponent and get him down. Uppercuts, a couple right-hand shots. Up against the cage. One takedown attempt for Pulley and easily stuffed by Hell as well. Again, shout out to you all who are viewing live here on the Say Light Project YouTube channel. Love hanging out with you folks watching fights. Big promotion, small promotion, it doesn't matter. We're all fight junkies here and we love this great sport. Uh, vote in the new poll question if you haven't already. Who wins the vacant flyweight title, Paiva or Takahashi? Right now, Takahashi leading, but we only have a we only have a handful of votes. So get your votes in. And as well, we are to the halfway point of our goal of reaching 50 likes on the video. If we reach 50 likes on the video, we will give away some merchandise, some City Light Project merchandise to a lucky person in the live chat. All right, second round about to begin. They're just, I think, wiping up some... A little puddle of water for maybe some of the ice or something here. All right, round two. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Right away, both these fighters engage again. Exchange some leg kicks. And yeah, unsurprisingly, Pulley comes out a little bit with more intensity in this one. I mean, he knows his corner knows he lost that first round. Hale has some, is quick with his strikes, though. He's got some fast hands. Pulley better get more active. Yeah, Mike, he's my pick to win this one too. He just had, he's been a little bit too reserved here. Shane asking me who I'm picking. Well, we're about to find out in, uh, after this fight, Shane, and I'll reveal it. Cause we got to highlight the fighters and make my pick. So I might as well wait till we do our highlight to, to, to give you my thoughts on it. But again, for everyone watching vote in the poll question, I really appreciate it. And again, after this video is posted, if you if you can comment on the video, you know, I love Cage uh, Fury or Cage Fury is awesome. Just let me know your thoughts on Cage Fury in these streams. I really appreciate it. Yeah, Pulley's getting bullied. That was a nice left hook by Pulley. Solid kickboxing match here is I don't think it's going to the ground. Yeah, in this round, it's been more back and forth than just uh, Hal dominating in the striking aspect. I mean, yeah, Pulley's not doing much here at all. He's, he's being way more defensive than he is being offensive here, folks. Live play-by-play, -play, live commentary, live reaction, of course, live interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat here. Really appreciate everybody who's uh, who's hung out and watched some fights with us in and out of this stream. Nice right hand by Hal. Oh, what a nice kick by Hale. Yeah, 
Yeah, and they have adjusted a little bit here, but honestly, man, this has been this has been Hale's fight. And now he's taunting Pulley a little bit, saying, hey, center of the octagon, let's go. Keep the comments coming. I'll get right back to them in a moment here. Blood on the foot of Hale. I don't I don't know if it's a cut though. Like I said, I'll get right back to the comments in a sec here, folks. And pulley up is like very content of getting up against the cage and just kind of moving and then getting and then moving back to the center of the octagon, but he's not doing enough here. Uh, do you know any sports book that have live betting on these small minute promotions? My book closes all lines as soon as the card starts. Oh, I personally don't, but our live chat usually does, Mike. And I know it's a very it's more of a quiet live chat here tonight. It's not as buzzing as it usually is. But I do have some friends in our community here who come on a lot of the streams who a lot of them only bet on these smaller promotions. Like our friend Reborn. Um, I'll, I'll tag him when this video is posted and comment on it. And I'll, I'll tag Reborn and then maybe you can get in contact with him from there on another stream. Because um, I don't know the sports video off the top of my head because I can't use them in the state that I'm in. But... Again, like I said, there, there are a lot of community members on this channel who do only exclusively bet on the smaller promotions. So not tonight, but we will get you that information, especially if you join back uh, soon, Mike. At this rate, we're going to need to finish our DQ. No, 100%. 100%. It's still dicey, dicey in this state. Trust me. I mean, I have, I, I, I can have my ways. I have my ways. Um, but, uh, but yeah, let's put it this way. I've tried it. I, I'm put it this way, Mike. <laughs> it ain't my first rodeo. Let's just say that. If it, if it was an easy and enjoyable process, by all means, go the VPN route. But for in this case, it just, it just. It just isn't, but uh, I got I got my ways, like I said. Um, but again, Mike, to answer your question, and I apologize, I can't give you the sports books right now. But we do in a, in this community, especially our boy Reborn, who joins, he only bets on the smaller promotions, and I'm sure during the Cage Warriors stream, you'll see a few of them. What do you think about my nickname for Pulley, the Simple Machine? I mean, he's seemingly that right now. Appreciate it, dude. I wish a few of them were here tonight, but uh, I know Reborn really likes LFA. A lot of them bet on LFA as well. All right, third and final round, folks. Let's get it all! Oh, now there's some water in the corner of hail. They need a towel to wipe that down. Okay, here comes the cornerman. All right, folks, well, I mean... I picked Pulley to win, but Hale's the one who's been absolutely dominant. I'm a degenerate. I bet on all MMA. Well, then you'll fit in with this community perfectly, brother. You'll fit in here perfectly. Hey, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Because most of our community, I don't call them degenerates because they win. In my books, a degenerate loses. <laughs> Pulley is going to have to come out and dominate here. Pulley... Are simple or are, are simple machines? I learned that in high school. They are simple machines, and he is the simple machine in this fight. He's not fighting a complicated fight either. He's fighting a simple fight, and that's why he's getting tuned on the feet. Like Hale's making this look easy, folks. Yeah, Hale's not not interested in going for a takedown at all because he's piecing up Pulley on the feet here, and Pulley's not being aggressive at all. Yeah, 
Yeah, another left hook, straight right combo by Hale. Hale's left jab is, is finding a home almost every single time he throws it. One, two by Hale. Outside low kick. I mean, Hale's not putting on the pressure and pace that he did in the first and second, but like he's still volume wise pressing forward, throwing jabs, one twos, three piece in a soda, baby. Oh yeah. Mike, we're going to, you're going to fit right in here, buddy. I'm so excited that, uh, that you found us here and that, uh, and they're going to be joining us on more streams, more cage fury and, uh, and some of the, and some other smaller promotions as well. Like I said, the USC ones are always fun, but my favorite, Mike, is one one championship. And we get like 300 people in the one championship uh, streams in the live chat. It's amazing. And they're also just such fun cards to watch with the Muay Thai aspect to it as well. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Pulley tried to do a counter there with a the 1-2. Oh, my goodness, folks. He tried to do something here, and he misses. He's just punching air. Pulley is, is the, the broadcast, I mean, they're being they're being nice. He's like, oh, he just looks like he's a step behind. He looks like he's a freaking mile behind him. His speed, his timing, everything. This is all Hale. And Hale is not coasting at all. He's still throwing. Dude, one championship is so much fun, dude. The, the streams are buzzing. The, the fight cards are buzzing. I'm excited. Hopefully, you can join us on one soon. They're on Amazon Prime now, the ones that we uh primarily cover but sometimes i'll do like the singapore one early in the morning on my time zone and then when the amazon prime one starts that shit gets wild yeah it hasn't been good for this one i'll say that usually i like john morgan and i mean i do like john morgan they're being too nice too nice to pull you on this one and i mean cm punk he's the He's the uh, the guest color guy here. I've seen John Morgan do Cage Fury just by himself. Anyone who doesn't have Robert Hale up on their scorecards is out to lunch, by the way, folks. One minute left in this third and final round of this bout. Oh, and Hale tag pulley a couple times. Pulley still moving forward. Nice overhand right. Fifty seconds left. Morgan is fair, but the backup is not qualified. No, not at all. <laughs> Agreed. That's why he's the. It's CM Punk. He's uh, the the pro wrestler. That's why he's he's here as like the guest. What a nice left hook by Hal. I think I was mostly blocked, but we still heard it. What is up, my friend from Vancouver? What is up, Colorado Avalanche and New Jersey Devils? You must have liked the New Jersey Devils game today, buddy. How are you today, my friend? How are you? <laughs> Happy to see you here, as always. Uh, I felt like I botched that spelling. Nah, per you did it perfectly. And there we go. End of the fight. I mean, Robert Hale in the bank, folks, right? Robert Hale in the bank. Oh, MMA Joey is back here. And, uh, and he's leaking, folks. He's leaking. I'm good. I'm starting to reveal my second favorite team. Or, oh, I'm good. I'm starting to reveal my second favorite teams in sports. Yes, 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 you are. I mean, New Jersey, they're going to be a hell of a team in a few years. Not even a few. I'd give them like two. Two years and they're top of their respective division. Thirty twenty-seven. Wait, who missed waste by 0. 0.2 pounds? Mike, I just missed, missed that on the broadcast. There's a lot of weight misses in Cage uh, Fury tonight. <laughs> I'm big boned. 
Yeah, dude. It's all good. It's all good. No one's calling you fat. Can you guess my other favorite NHL team? Who else have, you, have we talked about? Oh, I feel like you might have told me at one point. Um, blah, 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 blah. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Um, I mean, it's the St. Louis Blues, right? <laughs> Fuck the St. Louis Blues. I love their logo. Can't stand the team. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, Vancouver Canucks? <laughs> Thirty twenty seven. You're right. Scorecards to a T. <laughs> MMA Joy likes rolling around in the mug mud and uh, yelling oink. I will come to Minnesota and beat you if you say that again. <laughs> fair, enough, fair enough. You and every other Minnesotan too, man, because they hate fucking St. Louis as well. Um, is okay. Give me a hint. Is it an American team or Canadian team? Shout out to everyone viewing. We are on to the co-main event of the evening. Shane, two more fights left, buddy. And this one now, the only title fight on the line as the challenger for the lightweight title in the main event missed weight. So we have the first and only title fight on the line here. Flyway title next. And yeah, Shane, like I said, uh, two. Favorite, and the answer may be in front of you. Uh, Wait, what? Oh, Minnesota? The Wild? Really? Or is it Philly? <laughs> Shane, I'm up by two in our beer bets, so we have to pick opposites to give you a a chance at a tie. Okay, okay. Oh, I meant to put American, not a favorite. Is it the Minnesota Wild or Philadelphia Flyers? Not Wild, though. I don't hate them. Okay, well, because a lot of Colorado Avalanche Wild, they go back and forth. So, Philly or Washington? So, it's between Philly and Washington. Which one? I respect Washington. I don't know about Philly. Glad you're here, though, by the way, my man. Hope you're having a good week. Um, I should change the ticker. Again, folks, if you're just joining us, like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. No one likes the Flyers. Thank you. Actually, my roommate, he likes the Flyers, clearly. He's got a signed Couturier jersey frame. Mike Jones, I'm 4-1 and one tonight. Uh, plus 28 units. a boy. All dogs. I mean, that's usually what you got to bet on in MMA to make some money is the dogs. The dogs bring you the money. It's East Coast State. All right. The flyweight belt is up for grabs here, ladies and gentlemen. Diego Paiva making his walk to the octagon. I'm going to update the ticker here, then we'll highlight both of these fighters in a moment. That split was a sweat. <laughs> oh, dude, I know, eh? I usually pick Japanese guys, but I'll let you pick first. Okay, give me a sec here. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm just updating the ticker here on the bottom of the screen as we tee up our co-main event of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Second last fight on the card. What a great evening of fights here, Cage Fury FC. Again, the vacant flyweight title is up for grabs here in this next fight. This one's going to be awesome. So Devils, Hurricanes, Rangers, Islanders, Bruins, Lightning, Panthers are your options to choose from. Oh, it's Devils. Didn't you? It's in your name, right? I already knew that, though. I thought you meant an additional one. I knew the Devils because your name is Colorado Avalanche and New Jersey Devils. And I knew that those are both the teams that you like. 
is there another one in that in that uh, group, uh, Colorado Avalanche and New Jersey Devils that that I need to choose from? Because if so, it should be it should be the Carolina Hurricanes because they're freaking awesome to watch. As soon as I heard thirty twenty seven, I knew I had it twenty nine twenty eight. Out of boy, out of boy. Uh, Mike Jones is choosing Piva as his winner. Um, Takashi is waiting to walk out until the beat drops. Oh my God, he's he's walking out in a. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. The horns on the mask and everything. He's got the the fun hair too. All right, let's uh, quickly highlight both of these guys. Diego Paiva, 9-4-0, 29 years old. He's on an impressive five-fight win streak. Jungle fights, Gladiator CF, pro fights, but nothing of huge significance other, other than jungle fights where he's gone two and three. He is on a four-fight win streak, go, though well-deserving well deserving of this title shot. Looking at his opponent, Makoto Takashi, 14 and or 14 one and one pro MMA career. He's 22 years old. He's got a win in Bellator. He's got two wins in Ryzen. He's currently riding a two, four, six, eight fight win streak. He fought in Ryzen last, Ryzen 37. He had his Bellator fight in 2019. Uh, and he he's even had some professional grappling matches as well. I got to go with Takahashi on this one. I know it's kind of dicey, dicey to go against, you know, some some Brazilians because Brazilians and MMA, it's, they go hand in hand. But uh, I'm going with uh, I'm going with the, the Japanese fighter on this one. Maybe. I, I live in the... Carolina's out of Zoomer loyalist Carolina Hurricanes. I know they're like no one gives a shit about them over there in Carolina, but we give a shit about them here in the USA. Well, I guess Northern USA and Canada. But this music. So my second favorite team in sport are hockey, are the Devils, football, Colts, baseball, Red Sox. I haven't watched enough basketball or soccer to made them a favorite. Hey. Fair enough. And all right. I, noted, my man. Noted. Thanks for sharing. For hockey, for me, it goes Canucks, Washington, Minnesota Wild. I hope Japanese Takashi 6 9 wins. <laughs> Third favorite NHL is the Flames, just because Nazem Kadri is on the team. Hey, that's a great reason. And the Flames are always fun to watch. I root for the Flames. I don't know if you can ever say I love, like, I like them as like one of my favorite teams because the rivalry between the Canucks, but I respect the Flames and my first in live NHL games are in Calgary. Okay, I'll go Diego. Experience wins 80% of the time against guys this young. Hey, fair enough, but I'm going, I'm going with uh, my gut on this one. I'm going with my gut on this one. And I think you're even, even on this card, that that's been the case. No, oh no, the 22 year old one on, on this card, but yes, Championship fight, folks. Championship fight. Let's get it all. Four rounds, a fifth if it's necessary, if it's tied after the fourth round. Yeah, they do things a little bit different in Cage Fury. Here we freaking go. Mike Jones, though, folks, with a, with a great point here. And Paiva does look big. Tucker has you with an explosion knee to start this one. Paiva dishes one right back at him as he pushes him up against the cage. Again, appreciate you all viewing. Nearing the end of the card here. Co-main event is upon us for the vacant flyway title. Keep the comments coming. If you, have, uh, if you haven't already, let us know who you voted for in the poll question as it's going down right now. Still pushing Takahashi up against the cages, Paiva. 
I checked the Avs Pred game and it was 1 1. And I just looked in 4 1 Colorado. What the fuck happened? Ayo. All right, disengages now. Sidekick by Piva just above the knee. Oh, no, absolutely not. And he won't for a few more years. Overhand shot by Piva overhand right as he threatens with that and tries to go over the takedown again. Tagashi looking to defend the takedown. It looks like Paiva actually landed one of the shots as above the right eye of Takahashi. He's bleeding. Takahashi did a pretty good job of defending the takedown until then. Oh, and Paiva's a Damien Maya protege, as the broadcast just said, so he's a jujitsu guy. Ooh. Make that 5-1 Colorado. Even Rodriguez just scored on the power play. Wow. What a nice reversal by Takahashi grabbing the neck here. Use it to sweep and now get side control, top position. Hey, Takahashi, that's a veteran move for a young guy, especially against a jiu-jitsu guy in Paiva, but he's got to watch that triangle or armbar. The overhand right cut him, yes. And oh my god. Thank you so much for the donation, buddy. Avalanche super fan here giving two bucks. Thank you so much, you Avalanche super fan beauty. Thank you so much for supporting the channel as you always do. Um, love chatting with you via DMs too. I love when you share some of the videos, especially the hockey game footage and stuff like that. And some of the fast food that you guys or the different types of snack food that you guys have in the States here versus Canada. I appreciate you so much watching these streams and hanging out here, and I appreciate your $2. Good, sir. Thank you so much. <laughs> Tagahashi, still top position. And now he's cut up Paiva here as he's laying down some solid ground and pound over the top position. I think he stunned Paiva a bit as even the official now is looking with close eyes here. Man, thank you so much again, buddy. I appreciate it. Left hands landing by Takahashi. Back to their feet are both these guys. I mean, I can't believe it. Even on smaller promotions, we got Mike Jones. We got EK earlier. Colorado Avalanche is here hanging out. Colorado Avalanche and New Jersey Devils donated as well as peanuts earlier today. You guys are amazing. I'm also happy the Moose has a uh, has been getting goals and points. He has like three or four points on this game already. Wow. By the way, you stole our nickname. <laughs> Felino's Moose in, in Minnesota. <laughs> but apparently you guys dubbed uh, your, your Moose first. So there you go. Beautiful work now from Paiva. Top position, Takashi on the ground. Oh my goodness, Mike Jones with the double super sticker. Are you kidding me? Mike Jones, thank you so much, brother. You didn't have to do that. Oh my goodness, you two are amazing. Wow. I am I am so humbled and, and, and thankful right now, guys. Wow. I'm just going to jump on YouTube here because to see what the super stickers are because on my uh, program, and we're, and we're out of the... First round here, folks. Mike Jones with the poop emojis. Out of boy. Out of boy. With the poop super sticker. Thank you so much, Mike Jones. Oh my goodness. You you're amazing, man. Thank you so much. Wow, you guys, you guys are so awesome. I appreciate the support. End of the first round. Close round indeed. Both of them cut each other by the looks of it. That beautiful. Judo style takedown by Takahashi. Beautiful sweep by Takahashi too. And again, against a jujitsu guy. Cut men working on Takahashi's cut. I'm curious to see how bad that is. Um 
the moose is Miko Ratnan. For those who don't know, I know, and he's uh Marcus Felino in, in Minnesota. That's what we call him, the moose, too. Again, Mike Jones, thank you so much, brother. I words can't describe you guys are amazing. Takahashi is covered in blood. That cut is right above his eye. It's not an ideal spot for a cut. Let's get it on. Round two in this championship fight. Let's get it on. Cheers, brother. Let's go, Piva, says Mike Jones. I can name a few nicknames from the Avalanche if you want to hear what the Avs fate flaws names are. But yeah, hit me up with the examples or hit me up with the, the names. And already to the ground is Piva and Takahashi. Oh, and Takahashi reverses and gets back on top. It looked like Paiva was trying to set something up from the back there, but Takahashi doing a good job of getting top position. Kind of looks like a side modified half guard side control, and Paiva is laying on his side. Again, shout out to you all who've donated this stream. Shout out to you all who've just joined us. Cut man did a shit job. Yes, he did, Shane. Yes, he did. Again, I'm never going to ask you guys to donate, but I, I always just ask for you to like the video and drop a comment in the live chat. But when you do donate, I'm super thankful. I'm going to give you multiple shout outs. And it just it just helps me out. Helps me pay rent. Helps me pay for my dinners. It helps me put on more streams like this. So I appreciate it. Back up to their feet, but Takahashi's tagging up Paiva on the way up. Back up to their feet, center of the octagon. Oh, and Takahashi just dropped Paiva. Takahashi just dropped Paiva. Paiva, being the jujitsu guy, lays maybe, maybe could have just stumbled back for backwards if he was any other fighter, but decided just to take his back to try to pull Takahashi into his guard, and he does. But Takahashi now getting his arm wrapped up. Maybe, maybe it would have been better for Takahashi to keep this on the feet, but. He's in the full guard of Paiva now. Let's see if he can work. Miko, the Moose Ratnan, Alex, the Crook, Newhook. I came up with that one. Hey, Colorado Avalanche. I've, uh, I know Newhook, actually. He used to come to my radio show all the time. Oh, sorry. There's a lot going on in the fight right now, so I'll get back to this comment. But I do know Newhook personally. Oh, and from top position, Hammer Fist. Hammer Fist and beautiful hard shots from top position by Takahashi in the guard of Paiva. <clears throat> but yeah, Alex Newhook was an absolute legend in the BCHL for my hometown team, the Victoria Grizzlies. He was there for two seasons, dominated there. So happy to see him do so well at Boston College. So happy to see him now a Stanley Cup champion. Alex Newhook, one, one, of, one of the best humans out there. Absolutely loved uh, having him on my show, talking to him, and... Uh, Love what he brought to the BCHL when he was there. All hail Kale, the Choo Choo Train Nakushin. Takashi still top position, trying to kind of single just single out just the face or or just one area of Paiva that he could just lay down the shots on, kind of in like a modified crucifix, but doesn't able was unable to get that, and now Paiva threatening with a takedown. Paiva gets the takedown, but lands on his back right into the guard now is Takahashi. Frankie, uh, Lecky, Landy, the, the, the Y, you know, the Y at the end of the shortened name, hockey nickname, yep. Speed is there for the young man. Yeah, and he's got some power in those shots too as he was able to drop Paiva at one point. Again, Paiva probably... Elected to lay on his back a little bit the jujitsu way, but still it knocked him back a couple times. I got Takahashi winning thus far. Personally, it's it's still the first round was close, but I mean top position here. Control time. Knockdown and here we go. Takahashi still gets free from the guard and he's quick with getting his strikes down. Uh, for the JG Comfer, we got like 776 goals now when he scores. I don't know what that means, to be honest. JT Comfer, barely newer. And EJ, 
Out of boy, Eric Johnson. Darsh choke attempt. Darsh choke attempt by Takahashi on Paiva. And that's tight. Oh, and he lets it go. Oh! Ten seconds left in the second round. Back up to their feet. That leg grab was nice. Dude, Takahashi's honestly impressed me a little bit. I know I picked him in this one. <clears throat> Mostly because I just didn't want Shane to pick him, to be perfectly honest. And especially hearing that Paiva was a is a disciple of um shoot, why is his name escaping me? His face is right in front of me. The UFC fighter. God damn it. I'm tired and sick, that's why. But I, I, I literally just mentioned his name. Um Damien Maya. I was scared as soon as this hit the ground. I was like, oh my god, the Damien Maya guy in Paiva is gonna absolutely destroy the Japanese kid. But no, man. For 22 years old, this this Japanese kid, I mean, he's solid. His wrestling is way better. No fear of going to the ground, absolutely. And he even took an up kick to get into the guard there, as, as we saw in the replay. Who do you think is winning right now? I think Takahashi won that second round. And the first round was close. I don't know about the first round. Second round was Takahashi, so... and. and Way more dominant than than we saw in the first one. So if I'm gonna have to choose someone who's up right now, I'd say Takahashi is up, very na- like very narrow. But I still say he's up because he was more dominant that second round than either of them were in the first round. Mike Jones can weigh in too, if he wants, of course. Shout out to everyone joining. By the way, like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. We're trying to get to 50 likes on this video before the end of the stream before we give away some prizes. Back up. I mean, they're still on their feet here. Opening 30 seconds of the third round. I hope it's even, but I think I'm down too. Oh my god, that high kick was nasty. Paiva shoots in after that. And Takahashi gets the back of Paiva as he stuffed his takedown. O'Connor needs one more goal for the Hattie. Let's go, O'Connor. Paiva going for the Kimura, as the broadcast says, from underneath Takahashi. Takahashi now throwing some shots to the side. Tried to sweep was Paiva. Takahashi, though, again, credit to his wrestling, like Mike Jones pointed out. Looking damn good. Oh, Takashi almost almost got the full mount. But yeah, you can't maintain it with a guy as as incredible as jiu- in jiu-jitsu as Paiva. But again, as incredible in jiu-jitsu as Paiva was presented to be, Takahashi is doing a damn good job of defending and, and if anything, being more the aggressor in this one. Modified half guard and he sprawled up and Takahashi just laying down bombs. Hammer fist. Tagahashi now dominating with elbows. He's landing some hard shots here. Fun fact, the Avalanche steamrolled their way through the playoffs into the cup finals, only losing two games, and one was an OT loss, and one was a three-goal blowout, both by the Blues. That is a fun fact. Wow. Thank you so much for that fun fact, buddy. And again, thank you all who've donated here tonight. Peanuts with the super sticker. Colorado Avalanche and New Jersey Devils with the $2 donation. Mike Jones with the super sticker. I mean, you all are amazing. Mike Jones with the double super sticker. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Appreciate all the donations, good sirs. Yeah, the Avalanche had a lot of pain and anger built up, and they finally released it. Dude, you a hundred percent. What it was almost like an, it was almost like a. It was almost too easy for them. It was a dominant performance in the playoffs, and yeah, I tip, I tip my beanie. I can't believe I'm saying beanie now that I'm in the United States. 
I tip my toque to the team. Still tall position for Takahashi. Keeps posturing up. Good job of passing the guard, and forcing Paiva to close his guard and, and move him back into a full guard here. Whenever Takahashi has an opportunity to land a shot in this in the full guard of Paiva, he has been, and he hasn't been threatened too, too much with a submission. If anything, Takahashi's been threatening with more submissions than Paiva thus far. Fifty-five seconds left in this third round. Then we go into the fourth round, folks, and there will not be a fifth round unless the fight is tied after the fourth round. That's how Cage Fury works. Again, Takahashi eats an upkick to. I mean, I don't know if that would hit him clean, but eats an, no fear to eat an upkick, upkick to get back into the guard or work. What were the odds for this one? I didn't check. Or are you talking about the Avalanche? Because <laughs> if so, yes. The favorites finally won. And that's the end of the third round. I believe Jay Bender is the best coach currently because he was given an Avalanche team who won a max of 48 points in his first season, wasn't able to implement his coaching system in that time. I think he's one of the better coaches, 100% in the National Hockey League. Best, I don't know if I can crown him that, because he's got one Stanley Cup ring in his time with the Avalanche being on top. But you said it, man. Being able to take that team out of the dark hole that they were, I give Bednar all the credit in the world, 100%. Plus, really? That much of a dog, eh? Okay, yeah, justified. Wow, I mean, and I mean, if you look at Takahashi's record, 14 1 and 1. So, and sure, some of them could be padded, but I did say in the preview here, he's fought in Bellator. He's fought in Ryzen. He's won twice in Ryzen. He's won once in Bellator, but, but he hasn't lost. So, I mean, at, before he was 22 years old, he fought in Bellator at 20. Uh, Decoustic TV, who's winning right now? Seemingly Takahashi's winning. The first round was very, very close. Um, the second round was Takahashi, the third round was Takahashi. Thank you for joining, uh, Decoustic TV. It's frowned upon in Japan, culture to dye your hair, yet all three Japanese fighters seem to dye their hair. Yeah, because Shane, they're not fighting in Japan, they're fighting in Florida, baby, and this is mixed martial arts. Doctor checking on the eye of Paiva. Is that right? Eye is incredibly swollen. He's good to go. They say something like, the nail that sticks out gets the hammer. Odds made no sense until now. <laughs> Ooh, potential broken orbital. Yeah, with how that's swelling up for Paiva. Again, shout to everyone watching. Like the video. Drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. What's up, Joe? I'm almost done here, but you're welcome to watch some too. <laughs> My roommate, Joe, everybody. He's the one. He's the Flyers fan. They were hating on the Flyers earlier. Mark. And there we go. Paiva finishes it. Oh, my goodness. Your new flyweight champion, folks. 22 years old. Out of Japan. No, f or sorry, yeah, out of Japan, no fear at all going up against uh, a Brazilian jiu jitsu specialist training under one of the best who's fought in the UFC in the you know jiu jitsu realm. And look what he did to his face. He's my new favorite. <laughs> Unbelievable. Our Mike Jones in the chat here. No way. Unbelievable. New flyweight champion. That's awesome to see, folks. Wow. So one more fight, and that one's actually not going to be a title fight, folks. As I said before, um, who was it here who missed weight? 
He was the challenger for the lightweight title in Kenley St. Louis. He missed weight, so the belt is no longer on the line. Oh, it's Darce Choke. God damn. And that's what he tried to do earlier, the, the Darce Choke sub. Wow. So the young man has fought in Rising. <laughs> the young man has fought in Bellator. The young man is now a Cage Fury champion, folks. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Jared Bednar also is the only coach to win an ECHL, an AHL, and an NHL championship. That's amazing. You know who the only player to win all three of those is? They, I'll, I'll let that, I'll let that marinate because he's an absolute beauty. Oh my God, Mike, thank you so much for the four dollar donation, the four dollar super sticker donation. Oh my goodness. Oh, and the pissed off, the pissed off hippo, the pissed off hippo super sticker. And I mean, rightfully so, your pick didn't win. Wow. Mike Jones, thank you so much, brother. I know I know your boy didn't win in this one, but I appreciate the donation, good sir. Ninja choke? I thought that was a... Oh, I guess it wasn't a Darce. New CFFC flyweight champion. What a beautiful belt that is for a smaller promotion, folks. Wow. <laughs> Shout out to him and shout out to Mike Jones, of course, with the super sticker. The sad, sad hippo. He's still up 25 units, so it's all good. Look at that CM Punk in the center of the octagon. It was Jay Beagle. The legend Jay Beagle, man. He was one of my favorite, favorite players just because, you know, one of the best fourth liners in the league in his peak, right? Shane, how annoyed are you that uh, I stole this pick from you? Mike Jones again. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm so humbled and, and speechless, my man. Thank you. I guess I'm not speechless as I talk and talk and talk, but you know what I mean. Thank you so much again for the donation. All the donations tonight. Peanuts, Colorado, Mike Jones with the double donations. Oh, my God. Um, Yo, what's up, man? I don't know if I'm going to get my 7th Ave, dude. I don't know if I have enough time. It's 10.07. We have one more fight left. We'll see. Every time I see it either getting dominated, I'm hoping Punk will say something like, I know, I know that's what it feels like. <laughs> yeah, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. That might be comment of the night as well. Oh, I'm jealous, man. I don't think I'm getting mine tonight. Oh, my God. And now Colorado Avalanche and New Jersey Devils with the double dono too. Guys, seriously, thank you so, so much. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate it. You guys are all amazing. Like I'm I'm you guys are making this such a fun night. It's it's not a huge buzz in chat, but we have some new viewers here. We have some of the regulars and you all are just you guys are all amazing. Thank you so so much. Let's go Avs. Talk to Tech screwed up that last comment. I figured, but I was picking up what you were putting down. Dan T, welcome to the stream, Dan. Thanks so much. Gonna be a slug fest. First one, two shots, a smelly boy. All right. All right, Dan. Sorry, I can't donate tonight. I spent my last $10 on seven that pizza. Dude, it's all good. It's all good. I never ask, I never ask anyone to donate. It's all good, buddy. Shane saying, I'm gonna cheer for Takahashi going forward. Yeah, Shane. Uh, you cheer for the Japanese fighters, and that's awesome, buddy. Let's go with the Devil's Dono. Happy. I, oh, I don't. It was on Facebook earlier, bro, but I think that was just the prelims. Um, try this, Happy. 
try this. No promises, but this sometimes has fight streams. Try either of these. No, Paiva got dominated, man. Paiva lost. Paiva got submitted. Paiva got his ass whooped, unfortunately. Unfortunately, if you're rooting for him and if you're Mike Jones. Fortunate for me because I picked him to win. Happy, I just commented two things in the chat. Try the try that website. Um, sometimes they they show a bunch of MMA streams there. So happy Miller to MN becoming a thing on Twitter. Is it actually happy again? No promises, but I hope they they sometimes show Cage Fury. They do show UFC. I'm watching on Fight Pass, and I know earlier they were showing it on Facebook. Thank you for dropping a comment in the live chat, my, chat, my man. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Fun fact about me. I was born in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and I lived there for eight years, then moved to New Jersey, and I'm currently living there, so I grew up in a devil's house, but I'm an Avs fan at heart. I love that, man. I love that. And you're a Broncos fan, too, Denver Broncos fan. No, it's fucking it is trying to start momentum on that. I'll jump on that. I'll jump on that momentum. Let's fucking go. <laughs> For be perfectly honest, I'd rather have Horvat, but Hoppy. Hoppy wants JT. That's where there are your two favorite teams. Well, that makes sense, brother. That makes sense. And yep, Denver, uh, Denver Broncos are your team. All right, I gotta change up the screen here. I gotta change up the tickers. We are we have reached the final fight on the card, ladies and gentlemen. It was supposed to be for the lightweight championship belt. Unfortunately, Kenley St. Louis missed weight, so now it will just be a lightweight top contender bout. It's top contender. I mean, it is top contender bouts. So this, that's the champion and the, the number one, but the top contenders in the division fighting is what I meant to say. All right, I'm going to throw these final fighters here on the ticker. Then we'll highlight them both in a moment here. All right, 155. These are lightweights. Bum, 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 bum. Can't, bro, but I have a bet on Kenley. You think I have a chance? He missed weight, so that's that's not a good sign, which means his weight cut didn't go well, so I wonder how compromised he's going to be. I think you have a chance if he comes out swinging in the first round and gets a knockout. If it goes if it goes the distance, it's not looking good, but a lot of fighters missed weight on this card today, and a, f and a few of them actually did win, so it's tough to call, Happy. It's tough to call. Beautiful area, Colorado Springs. I can't wait to go visit there. I hear it's just unbelievable. I hear it's gorgeous. And I hear the hiking in Colorado is, is in, in various areas of Colorado are awesome too. Shane, give me a sec. Give me a sec. You're rushing me here, Shane. I'm trying to catch up on the comments. Okay, I'll get back to the comments here in a sec, folks. Time to highlight the fighters and I'll get my official pick. Blake Smith is the champion, folks. Blake Smith out of Florida. Tampa, Florida. Seven and two. Oh, sorry. Did I? Did I mess up here? Did Kenley miss weight or did... Tapology says that actually uh, Blake Smith missed weight as the champion. So that really sucks for Kenley. I heard the broadcast, though, earlier say it was Kenley. So my, I apologize, Happy, if I got that mixed up there. Um, regardless, I still think you, you have a chance. But let's, uh, let's, let's highlight both these fighters before I get ahead of myself. 7-2 and two is Blake Smith. He's on a four-fight win streak. He's 32 years old. He went 3-1 and one in RFC before joining CFFC. I mean, he, he fought in some other promotions as well, like Jackson Wing Fight Night, um, Combat Quest, but... RFC was the was the biggest fight promotion he fought in before entering CFFC. He's on a four fight win streak right now, and he's the current champion. His opponent, Kenley St. Louis, six and four. 
He's on a three-fight win streak right now, two of which have been in CFFC, and the rest Titan FC, um, and just some other lore and fight promotions. He's 31 years old. I am going with, and still, and still the champion here. Happy, I'm sorry. I don't mean to go against you here. I'm just going against Shane in our beer bets. Um, actually, you know what, Shane? Give me two two sec. I want to hear if he made weight or not. I want to know who missed weight before I make my prediction. So give me a sec. That's good to hear. Yes, happy. Yes. <laughs> Piva champion? No, Piva is not champion. I I told you. I and I know I know maybe you don't speak English, but Piva is not champion. Piva got his ass whooped. Piva lost. He got submitted. Takahashi is now the champion. Uh, I went to the zoo and that's built right next to NORAD. It helps cover it up. Okay, I got to hear if you missed weight. I, t- I just missed the St. Louis announcement too. Somebody tell me in the chat. I missed on screen St. Louis's tail of the tape. Was it St. Louis who missed weight or was it Blake? Because it says Blake Smith is 155. Who missed weight? Someone tell me in the chat because I missed it on screen. Who missed weight? Tapology said it was Blake Smith, but now it says he's 155. Come on, Shane, tell me. I need to, I need to know before I make my prediction. Tell me who missed weight. All right, no one's going to tell me. Are you kidding me? You're really going to do this to me, Shane? All right, we're going with Blake. Let's get it on! Let's get it on. So it was going to be four or five rounds, but because it's not a title fight, it is only three. Shane, it was on screen. It was visual, and I didn't look at it. That's what I was saying. It was on their tail of the tape. Didn't it say though? Didn't it say on the little bar there on the bottom on their names? Anyways, no matter. The pick is locked in. Let's get into it. Shane's got the other guy, which might be the advantage here. I don't know yet. <laughs> All right, so we got St. Louis in the blue, Smith in the red. And it's mostly my bad. I'm not mad at you guys at all. It's, it's, it's 100% my bad. I was, I was wanting to look and see what the tail of the tape, their announcement official weight was at, and I was reading comments instead. So my bad, my bad. And St. Louis trying to get Smith to the ground, and he does with a good takedown up against the cage. No, all good. That's the thing. Like, I was looking at the chat, too, and I was supposed to be paying attention. I was hoping somebody would have seen it, but hey, it's all good. It's all good. We're paying attention now to the fights, and that's all that matters here. St. Louis working the wrestling out early. Side control. Side control looking to get into full mount. Now he's in half guard. And Smith's half guard is Smith's up against the cage. Fun fact, last time I checked, Colorado Springs was the third most important city based on... uh, What? Militia importance? I don't know what militia importance means. Two minutes and 53 seconds left in this first round, and St. Louis is dominating right now. Sprawl... Or I shouldn't have said sprawl, but um, no one's sprawling here. <laughs> I thought he was going to you know, get up, posture up a little bit, St. Louis. But no, he's laying down some strikes just as he's laying on Smith right now. He's so calm. Oh, military importance. No worries. I I figured after, but I was like, militia sounds a little <laughs> sounds a little too terror terrorism y for Colorado. 
Oh, I'm I just type way too fast too, so I'm I'm the worst with the typos. St. Louis is gonna get me a few units. Great start. And yeah, for a friend happy in the chat right now, too. St. Louis is looking damn good. Beautiful start by St. Louis. St. Louis got to the ground early and he's imposing his will and he's just draining the energy of Smith who's try who has to try to get out of this. Three round affair instead of four slash five if it needs to be in Cage Fury. One minute and 23 seconds. Can Smith do anything to get out of this position? Because if not, I mean, it's a dominant 10-8 for St. Louis. Again, shout out to everybody who's joined us in and out of this stream. You all are amazing. I appreciate you all. Oh, arm triangle. Trying to set up the arm triangle. One arm is stuck. Good job by Smith for rolling but now but he just might have rolled into a rear naked and given up his back as st louis now gets the back he has both hooks in and as smith turns he turns right into st louis full mount oh kimura kimura oh, 25 seconds left kimura oh it was like it was a weird kimura too it was like pressure on the just janking the it wasn't a traditional Kimura, but that was the first comparison that uh that came to mind. It was like a it was a weird type of Americana. It, I mean, man. Absolute domination. Absolute domination by the by the challenge. Well, I guess I shouldn't even say the challenger because there's no belt on the line for this one. But dominant, dominant round by Kendley St. Louis. Submission attempts galore, folks. I'm like, I'm so fidgety right now because I'm just so pumped on this main event. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Who's, oh, happy. Your boy, man. Your boy, St. Louis, is absolutely dominating. Opening frames take down, and like every time, every time that Smith tried to get out of a position, it St. Louis threatened him with an even dire one. Key lock from the top. Yes, thank you very much. Key lock, uh, potential arm triangle, potential rear naked. I mean, he had the mount. NHL playoff picture, Boston versus. Rangers, New Jersey versus Detroit, Carolina, Toronto, Florida versus Islanders. All right, round two. Let's get it all. But yeah, happy. Be happy because your boy's dominating right now. Oh, and I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. Smith just landed a head kick. And he's on top lane, ground and pound. But St. Louis is still in this. St. Louis is still in this. He's still rolling for his life. Oh my goodness. Smith just landed a head kick literally when I told Happy to be happy. Oh no, Smith. Smith is beating up St. Louis now. St. Louis back up against the cage. Just trying to regain some, some sense of semblance. Now a knee from Smith. It's just a brawl. They're both just throwing. And St. Louis can barely stand. St. Louis is on pins and needles right now. He's wobbling. Desperately shooting for a takedown, and Smith is and Smith is stuffing it. Oh my goodness, that head kick! Mike's asking, "Happy, what he got?" Oh, the bots are back. All right, I just blocked all these bots that hit us up. Oh, Smith with a take with a just a. Slam takedown now to St. Louis still in this showing so much heart. Colorado, I'll get to your all the playoff stuff in a sec here. I just, my eyes are stuck on this fight. 
Mike's got two dollars on the draw. Yeah, fuck the the bots here. I blocked them. Don't worry, they 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 won't be back. Did Smith punch himself out there? St. Louis is back in this fight. They're both center of the octagon, just swinging at each other. But, oh, St. Louis looks compromised. He's still so wobbly, just desperately going for the takedown, and he gets it. He gets the takedown at St. Louis's top position. This fight is bananas, dude. This fight is bananas. Survival mode, yet he got the takedown and now is in the full guard again of Blake Smith. Wow. My roommates weren't sleeping. I would scream. That first round was 10-8. I got a shot at a draw. It's three rounds. Three rounds for this one. It was supposed to be four, <coughs> four or five, but um, St. Louis missed weight, or one of them missed weight. We haven't confirmed nor denied, and so it's not a championship fight anymore. My apologies for my voice and everything, folks. I'm a little, I'm, I'm at the tail end of a cold here. <laughs> Wake up, Joe. All right. <clears throat> it seems like both men have recovered a little bit here, and St. Louis now is starting to lay some strikes on the top. We're just in the round. We're still in round two, uh, Happy, and I, based on how it's going right now, I, I don't think so. One minute and 12 seconds left. St. Louis could salvage this round if he'd, if he'd throw some strikes in top position right now. Or at least this round is a draw and St. Louis is up because he wins that first round. I don't know, based on how this some of the judging's gone down tonight, I would say that this round is closer to a draw versus uh Lewis losing flat out this round. It's a closer round for sure. Twenty-five seconds left in this second round. <laughs> St. Louis's shorts uh, seem to be falling down. Final five seconds of this second round, and wow, what a fight this has been, ladies and gentlemen. As we're about to go into the third and final round here. I think Smith, he has, you know, he has an argument to win that second round based on the damage done and how wobbly he left St. Louis. But St. Louis came right back, met him in the center of the auction, got a couple shots in of his own, and got the takedown. Oh, what a nice head kick, though. That was. Oh, it wasn't. Yeah, he swarms him after that. I honestly thought when uh, St. Louis was up against the, the fence there as we're watching the replay that I was going to end. Happy, you're not watching this. So what do you know, bro? To be in all due respect, you're not watching it. <laughs> so why would they give it to someone who's not dominating the fight? Again, we have one round left. So don't get me wrong. You're making me turn red here. I'm getting all fired up. If the third round is as close as the second, then, then, I'll, then I'll entertain... Then I'll entertain your negativity here. But uh, Kinley dominated the first round. Dominated the first round. I think that draw could be... Uh, uh, oh, shit. The comments are going so fast. I can't even keep up. Let's get it round three. On. I think... I didn't think a round could be a draw unless someone gets a penalty point taken away. Uh, he did nothing with the takedown. St. Louis is up 19-18. He laid on him. Some judges. I mean, I, I just, 
again, man, the way that some of these MMA judges score these fights, I just it makes me sick. But um, again, some of them, if you're laying on someone, laying, you know, boop, boop, little, doot, doot, you know, pillow shots, they'll still score that. So, anyways, I tend to agree though. And it looks like St. Louis is recovered now as they're striking center of the octagon. I don't know if St. Louis wants to get into a striking battle with Smith after what he's just dealt. I think he wants to get back on top of him and start laying down the ground and pound. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> I love you, happy. <laughs> uh, Smith needs a finish or he's fighting for a draw. When Smith is bleeding, Smith is bleeding and he looks tired. Just remember the split decision. Hey, credit to St. Louis fighting as hard as he is without even a belt on the line. And St. Louis looking for that takedown. If he can get this, that's huge. Oh, and he, Smith does a good job of stuffing it and defending it here. But yes, Mike, we remember the split decision. <laughs> Which was definitely a weird one. Oh, and he gets it. St. Louis gets the takedown. It wasn't pretty, but he gets it. It wasn't a pretty trip takedown, but he gets it, folks. Inside control now is St. Louis. Definitely has to lay down some ground to pound now. He can't just lay on his opponent here. He's got to strike. There we go. <laughs> Mike Jones, happy Colorado Avalanche. Shane, you guys are making the, the end of this uh the end of this stream a lot of fun. I thank you very much. I know Zoomer Loyalist is still around. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Over back up 28 units. Atta boy. Happy saying, let's go. St. Louis has the back of Smith now. St. Louis looking for that neck. St. Louis can't get too ahead of himself, though. Two minutes and 16 seconds left. He should still just keep working here. Try to get a hook in. You know what, Mike? I'm fucking stoked, too, bro. I'm stoked that you are now part of this fight community, and then I get to see you on more streams, and I'm fucking pumped that you're making money. Side control still for St. Louis. Blake Smith is cut up, and he's dripping on the canvas. So there you go. In this third round, St. Louis cut Blake Smith, too. So there's some damage. And St. Louis does a great job of dragging Smith to the ground right on his back. He's got one hook in, fighting the hands, looking to get that choke. One minute, 33 seconds left. If St. Louis just does the old Aljamain Sterling backpack fight for that rear naked here... That's that's points on the judges' scorecards. Oh, and he's got the choke. He's got the choke. Oh, he, did he let it go? Or he maybe slipped out of it? it. That looked tight for a sec. Smith trying to roll. St. Louis on his back, flattening him out. Strikes. This is. I was just gonna say, if he didn't roll out of it, the judge might have uh, ended that one. Kinley absolutely dominating the third round. He cut up. Oh, here we go. Rear naked. Kinley's going to win via rear naked choke. Kinley's going to win rear naked choke. No way. No way. You know, credit to Blake Smith. He fought and got his neck out of that one, but there's 38 seconds left in this round, and there is no way that Smith is winning this. Body triangle is secured, and St. Louis has just been fighting for that, that rear naked choke. It's out of boy, out of boy, Mike Jones. Yeah, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Thank you for the super sticker, my man. Thank you for the super sticker, Mike Jones. You're an absolute beauty, man. Mike Jones, you are paying for my dinner tonight. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, folks. Oh my goodness. Ten seconds left, and St. Louis is showing the the dominant ground game he has. And there we go, folks. St. Louis with a good display of respect. Blake Smith is a little frustrated, didn't really reciprocate in this in this moment, but wow. Are you serious? Did the feed just end? 
oh my goodness, folks, my fight pass feed just ended. But I imagine we all know who the winner was. Here, let me see. Okay, never mind. Here we go. My fight pass just like glitched out and stopped for a second. Mike Jones, I'm checking out the super sticker. Another poop emoji. That's my favorite one. Thank you so much, man. Mike Jones, Colorado born. Everyone who's been donating tonight. You guys are so amazing. Thank you so much. I got my fries to eat the stream to watch. I'm in bed and that's and when the stream is over, YouTube time. Psh, sounds like a perfect Thursday night, my man. Yeah, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. If you live on Sunday, if I win some predictions on UFC, I'll give you 20 bucks. Bro, I might be live on Sunday. If I don't stream tomorrow, I'm going to stream Sunday. Tomorrow's a moving target because it's fucking Shudo Brazil. And does anyone in this live stream really give a fuck about Shudo Brazil MMA? Maybe. But uh, if I don't stream tomorrow, I will stream Sunday. I am streaming all day. Happy Saturday. Cage Warriors and UFC. Mike Jones has been fun. I can't wait to tune in Saturday. Have a good one, bro. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you so much, Mike. Can't wait to see you on the Cage Fear, Cage Warriors and or UFC. <clears throat> Shane, I refreshed it and it came back. Yeah, oh, that's so funny. Literally verbatim, same words. <laughs> Bro, it's out of San Andreas Prayer. Go live. I am happy. I said that. I said, no, no, no. Happy. Tomorrow's Friday, brother. Tomorrow's Friday for me. Friday, it's only Shooto Brazil. Saturday, I'm doing Cage Warriors all day and then UFC right after. So, yes. Yes, bro, I am, bro. Unanimous decision. Let's go, baby. Let's go. I lost that one, by the way, Shane, I think, eh? But still, that was that was awesome to watch. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, uh, it's Sunday here. Uh, my apologies, bro. Yeah, it's Friday here. Um, but yeah, it's because I, I live in the United States, Central Time. But uh, yes, happy. I I post my uh, streaming schedules on my community page on on the on this YouTube page on the community tab. So uh, tomorrow we might do Shooto Brazil. That one's a moving target, but 100% UFC Saturday, and then I might do something Sunday as well. Wow. This has been an incredible stream, folks. I want to shout out everybody who commented in the live chat as well as our, uh, those who donated. We'll start with those who donated. I mean, you all are just unbelievable. Again, I always say this. I'm never going to ask for donations, but they're always so appreciative. I mean, they either go to feed me or to put back into these streams. You know, put back into gear to make these streams better. And uh, I just appreciate it so much. So we'll start with those and then we'll give a shout out to everyone who commented. Mike Jones with the poops sticker. Colorado Avalanche with the double dono. Um, Mike Jones with the, the sad hippo. $4 super sticker, man. Wow. Thank you so much for the $4 donation as well as your additional super sticker. Colorado Avalanche. Avalanche super fan here, giving two bucks. Thank you so much. And then Peanuts opening up the stream with his uh, one euro as well. Shane, I think, wins comment of the night. Gray wins. No gray area here. <laughs> Out of boy. Zoomer loyalist, thank you, bro. And I hope to see you uh, if I stream tomorrow, tomorrow, but if not Saturday, Zoomer loyalist. So shout out Zoomer loyalist. Shout out Shane saying, I'm starting to think you won the last one, which would put. You up six, so it's six, six. I owe you five. You owe me one, but I'm keeping track of my phone now. All right. Awesome, Shane. Thank you so much. Happy. Who do you think won? Finley won, bro. Finley won unanimous decision. You made some money. Shout out to you, Happy. Thank you so much for joining. We have a new community member here in Happy, as well as Mike Jones. Thank you so much for joining, Mike Jones. You're an absolute beauty. Colorado Avalanche, New Jersey Devils. Thank you so much for joining. Shane, of course, I said that. Um, blah, blah, blah. I'm scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Uh, I can't pronounce your name, but thank you very much as well. Dan T, thank you very much for joining. Of course, Matthew, thank you so much. Shout out to you, brother. Um, Zoomer Loyalist, I said. Uh, da, 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 da. Who else joined us here today? 
<laughs> MMA Joey joined us. Jacob loves THPN. Shout out to you, sir. Uh, Miguel, Aaron, shout out to both of you. ER, one of our newer um, subscribers as well. Victoria for providing us NHL uh, live updates. Andrew B. How could I forget Andrew B? Can never forget Andrew B. Um, Vasco, Mick31, Mick. Leo the Dawn. Shout out to all of you. You guys are all amazing. Thank you so much for joining. Peanuts as well. Add to buy you. Thank you so much, my man. I said Aaron. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I don't. Th oh, Kenneth. Kenneth Brian. Thank you so much for joining both of you folks. Uh, Dan S. Thank you very much for joining Dan S. And Sh Shiraku. Thank you very much as well, Shiraku, for joining. My boy Blake Smith. Let's go. Ooh, your boy Blake Smith unfortunately lost, brother. He just lost and he got, other than a head kick that landed that looked really good, he got dominated. But I hope he does better next time. And hey, he at least retains his title because it wasn't a title fight because Finley missed weight. Thanks, bro. Have a nice day. Thanks for the update. Thank you for joining, Happy. Thank you, Zoomer Loyalist. Thank you to everybody. That's it. If I don't see you tomorrow, I'll see you Saturday for UFC and Cage Warriors. You are all amazing. Thank you so much for the donations. Hey, it's fine. You know what? It is fine. It was a good fight. And you know what? He did have some beautiful moments there, buddy, where he landed a head kick on Finley that almost finished him. So it was a good fight regardless. Thank you so much for joining. I, I'm, I'm ending the stream right now. We've been going for a few hours, but uh, I hope to see you on the next one. If I'm not back here tomorrow, I will be back Saturday and potentially Sunday. You all are amazing. Have a great night. Until next time, I say peace. I'm out of here.